Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode three of Hildebrandt's Heroes. Uh, thank you for joining all of us today, both on stream and in the YouTube sphere. We have received a lot of really good comments, and actually, we've got a list of questions that we're going to run through in today's episode. Uh, just to keep in mind, uh, where we ended up at the end of episode two is we finished up the Glittering Mines. We talked about the first 15 rounds uh, heading into the Golden Plains, the Rogue Isles. I got the name right. And the um, we have the Burning Forest on this one. We were also able to unlock uh, one of the side quests, the Chaos side quest in Parid, and we were able to find the Catacombs. And we finished up the Catacombs right before we ended Episode 2. So in this particular episode, what we're going to be doing is trying to figure out what's the fastest route to unlock as many side quests and other catacombs as much as possible and then after the 15 round refresh we're going to then do as much as we can to get ready for the king's maze and then the eventual ending of the game today hopefully we can get to the king's maze we'll just see how this thing goes um i will put a timeline in the description for all of you guys on youtube uh, just so you can see what is all included in the video Thank you, Sheldon, for having us on your stream. Uh, we have Sir Imperial Mike to my right. Am I pointing in the Everybody? right direction? And then we I have <laughs> the one and only, the king of for the king, Sheldon. So go ahead and take this away. You were pointing the wrong way, by the way, for both of us. On Just... your screen, <laughs> but on my screen, it's actually correct. Okay. Everything's okay, reversed. I'll... <laughs> oh, because okay, I see. Because our cameras are probably okay. I see. I see. It's I gotta figure out how to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it is my uh, it is my turn, and what we did was we finished the catacombs, and we have enough cash to get a boat. How do you want us to? Do we split apart? Do we have one person to go to? Well, Cezalee's Sheldon watch? is injured. Sheldon is injured and is probably going to want to go to Caselli's Watch to use the inn. In the meantime, it would be pretty cool for you to head over to the night market, check it out, and then head over to the Misty uh, Bite to uh, get that boat. So if Sheldon gives you 90 bucks, you could actually check out the night market on your way to drop the boat in the you water. You would have to not, yeah, don't purchase anything, but yes, yeah, check don't... it. Don't purchase anything, just look what's inside the night market. Now, how come you gave me all the 99 gold? Wouldn't you want some gold to be able to in? Yes, he would. I'm Unless not he's gonna, planning on selling. I'm not going to in at Caselli's watch, actually. I'm going to in at wherever Devil's Wharf is. Oh, okay. okay, so he's going to wait until later. I was checking your guys' inventory to see if you guys have enough junk. I do. Here, I'll give Although, you Although, we never... I'll no one's been stuff. the... Actually, no one's been the Caselli's watch. So heck, I might actually need to end there anyway. It's just because no one's been there. Yeah. Okay. Here's, the, here's the. I gave you some junk. All right. So, night market. Uh, anything. Of course, right now I'm so not going to purchase a, anything. But anything so you think we when should it comes buy. to looking, when it comes to looking into night markets, what we're generally looking for are items that will last us the entire game. So things that we would actually wear and wear probably the entire game. So things like a uh, bellowing horn, which provides encourage on a trinket, would be something that we would be looking for. It's something we would probably use the entire game. If there's nothing in there that we would use the entire game, then we would probably look for something that uh, can give us strategic uh, advantages in specific fights later on in the game. So such, one as, of the, su such as Confuse Immunity. Such as Confuse Immunity with the Mind Lord camp. And so that monk that shaman helm that's in the night market actually provides confused immunity so that would be a potential target that we might consider but we don't have the money right now so uh if we do happen to get the money before and could come back here we might give it a try okay um since the boat is going to eventually pull me into the water on your next round. Make sure you're um, in range. I gotta it, make yeah. sure I'm in range. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I gotta end myself right there. So I'm gonna, you know, the boat's gonna be able to swing around and pick me up. So I'm going to just head over this way just to search 
and I think you could still pick me up on the round after. We can pick you up from there. Yeah, you can pick me up from here. I was using my torch that gives me plus fine distance so I could search out those hexes. Okay, so the one thing that we went across is a, I hit a roadside grave. Are there any particular encounters that you think that we should look at? What are ones that you always avoid? What are ones that you always get? And then assuming the rest of them are just kind of in-betweeners. Uh, well, the number one we the number one event or yeah, I think it's called yeah, it's an event that we always do is the embedded blade is one. Mm -hmm. So we will we will make sure to 100% that even if that means using a character that has no strength at all, for example, Sheldon with 25 strength, I don't care. I will spend five focus to make sure I get the embedded blade. Um, because there's a chance that embedded blade can give you a a tier higher strength weapon that can last you for a long time. And even if you get unlucky and you get like a rusty blade or something, basically all you're losing is meditation money. That's it. Okay. Oh, you, you didn't that was a mistake. Up. That was a mistake. I thought the I, whole I, point was for him to go to Cecily's watch and actually unlock the side quest. Was that the point, Mike? Did we I, I don't know. I can. Maybe, maybe we did. Here. If we did, then that makes sense. All right. The, uh, the item side quest is a sapphire bow. Pointless. So we're going to go ahead and do reduce chaos. Find the luring pool, so we're fine. Find the luring pool, so we can use that for later. So do you feel then, I made a mistake there by ending that no, turn instead no, of no, doing fine. that? It's I fine. Just, no, not really. We do. We did want to trigger that, so that we that only said we, we only said that because in general we always pick up party, but in that circumstance it was fine. Okay. Yeah. You could um, also check out this night market on the island. Yeah. While we're here, I can step on it. And there's a magic merchant as well that you could check out. So how many of these side quests, because there's a total of five that you can do, because there's five towns, and then there's also three uh, catacombs that you can unlock. How many do you consider is like, on average, you try to make sure you get during these first 15 rounds? And is there an amount that like you think is a bonus or do you think is a failure? Um, at minimum, I'd like to get at least three towns within 15 rounds because sometimes you can get really bad spawned towns in burning forest or bog heck even sometimes golden plains so there's times where caselli's watch is just unreachable and like sometimes i will often ignore caselli's watch if it ends up being in a horrible space and make up for uh, make up for the fact i'm not going to that town by going to a burning forest or bog town earlier than i would normally do um I definitely like to do at least two level three mini dungeons. The reason being is if you don't, uh, you end up being slightly under leveled on the on a chaos camp, unless if you have like experience multiplier or something. And sometimes the first sea cave, you're not quite level four, because usually when the 15 rounds are over, everyone's level four. But sometimes that's not the case if you are unable to do the second mini dungeon. Okay. Do you want this torch for searching before you? Yeah. Move? So yeah. Here's a so here's a question for you from one of our from one of the YouTube comments. He talked about Sanctum tier list, and well, we'll go back to that here in a second while you fight by yourself. He's gonna have to run from that. Unfortunate man. So much movement, only to get freaking birded. <laughs> Birds are terrible in this game. Oh my god. <laughs> We'll pick you up and get to the Devil's War. <laughs> Wait, so, what weapon was I using? Oh, I was using this. So for a Sanctum tier list, someone had asked, um, is there a decision-making process behind who gets which Sanctum? And if you choose a less desirable Sanctum early, would you consider intentionally breaking and upgrading later? So like, for instance, right now I have a choice to get this particular Sanctum since I have full health. Um, just one focus do i pick this up now or do we skip this what is your thought process with sanctums um so based off of the based off of the order of what we plan on doing you know like for example doing chaos quests and then doing mini dungeons etc uh the probability of getting focused down and murdered is very low at this stage of the game compared to later in the game 
that does allow you the option to not take Sanctums right now and save them for healing instead. Mm -hmm. So you could, we could go for the Dark Cave first, wherever it is, come out with with you uh, injured, and then come back and get it to get a little bit more out of it. Or if we are valuing time more than healing, we could get it right now in a time save perspective, not get the heal and have a bunch of time to do whatever you want. So it's basically, do you value time right now or do you value getting free healing, which means saving money? So basically time versus money. What do you value more? I value time more. Okay. So if you value, if you, if, uh, are, if players are, are viewing time more, then I would get the symptom now. Okay. If you, if you value gold more, I would save it for later. I thought you were going to make me cringe there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have the torch? Sure. Okay, so now uh, we're just checking out the islands right now, right? Yeah, we're searching for the dark cave on the islands. That's the so, next mini dungeon that we're capable of handling. This statue here, combined with my Scholar's Ward, is a way for me to level heal without having to find Devil's Wharf, which is kind of nice. Okay, but now I got a strong breeze, so that's... Maybe yeah, I'll... Step out, step out onto the island. Just to make sure. And should yeah, I should go ahead, go ahead and go collect ahead. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead and collect it. I am kind of a little bit wanting to die, sort of, because I have to think that was shit on me. So <laughs> if, I do, if I do die, I don't care. <laughs> so this goes it. back to the Sanctums. <laughs> Which ones do you, like, prefer to have then? Well, so the Sanctum of Blood is a good one for a character that's going to be doing damage per second, DPS. And we that Sanctum is in the uh, Burning Forest right now. You can actually see it. Yeah. That one would have been a good one for the gladiator, but as a second choice, it's not bad for a scholar because scholars can do pretty hit, pretty big damage. Um, and even the hunter could have used that if the hunter was going to run DPS. The sanctum, yeah. of, the sanctum of focus that you're using right now, Mike, is also really good because you all. It's also nice to have a DPS character with confused immunity just so they can heal a brand. That's also kind of nice. Okay, there's the dark cave. Yep. So we just got to get Sheldon his I can, opportunity I can to get his experience. Yeah, I can get the silver here on. I'll be OK. So I was just searching the island is the only reason why I stepped into the gambling den. Yeah, that was the only reason I'm going to end <laughs> there. Come on, why don't you want to do the gambling um, den? By the way, when it comes to encounters that uh, we look for, the ones I typically do are the embedded blade. Anytime I see that, I'm going to try to do that. And the other one I like to do is the wishing well, which, you know, you either get a plus one max focus or you become poisoned. Um, I always try to get that. Even if I become poisoned, I'll just try it again the very next round. I can't get, I can't get poisoned twice. So that's always something I try to do. But most get, other encounters, I really don't care about. Mike? Yeah, hold on. Get it, yeah, get out of that torch. There you go. Okay. We're all, we're all still using hack one weapons, so we're definitely going to fix that after this dungeon. So one of the key ideas is to try to find these mini dungeons in that first 15 rounds because they will be level three which okay. is uh, something that your team is able to handle. You really don't want to be doing these kinds of uh, combats in the overworld. You're going to get a lot more value mm -hmm. take, taking these mini dungeons because the mini dungeons will have goblin shops, they will have treasure chests and a guaranteed treasure chest at the end. So you're going to get a lot more loot and a lot more gold for your time spent uh, attacking enemies. Unfortunately, my the, blade's not, the blade's not gonna proc before well, he runs. Now that he took my panics, yeah. Yeah. We can't let him get away with that. I was hoping to get super lucky there. <laughs> we'll get that panics back. Yep. Yay! 
So when it comes to buying herbs too, what herbs do you typically uh, decide to buy? Is there a certain level that you get to and then you stop buying certain herbs? What are the most important herbs to buy? Well, definitely God's beard, <laughs> for sure, number one. Uh, hold on just a second. Oh, I do have gold multiplier, okay. So yeah, um, we usually buy God's beard constantly, all the time. Uh, usually the times we don't is when the God's beard start becoming around 100 gold per God's beard. That's when we usually stop. Um, we also, we then uh, value golden roots as our second top priority herb for focus restore mm -hmm. and, that, and then after that we like getting panics um all the other herbs for the most part we don't even bother buying sometimes we buy a random hags bane if we don't happen to have one but most of the time we don't buy uh, any other herbs whatsoever yeah i only use one hags bane for my entire team I right don't usually need to go any far, more than that like right, right, right now we don't have any Hagsbane, but we also happen to have two Confuse immunities right now, so we probably don't even need to buy a Hagsbane. Okay. Uh, can I one-shot that Pixie? I think so. Yeah, I think I can kill that Pixie. Oh, good. You wow. resisted that. Yeah. I have 14 resistance, so, yeah. So you can one-shot <laughs> the Pixie. I can't... I should be up. yeah. I can't kill anything, so... No, let's take out that bone charmer. Oh. I don't want to get burnt. I definitely don't want to burn if I can avoid it. Well, not gonna yeah. get him completely, but oh well. I shouldn't have well, used. It was uh, close. It was a bad attack using the heavy. Oh yeah, no, there's no real reason to do a heavy. Yeah. The two normal shots would have killed him. Should be able to finish right. him off here. Finish him off. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was not paying attention to the chat. I used one focus on my attack because I got to get that perfect hit. Didn't want to get just, one. just, just a second, guys. So sorry. Okay. So as we're keep answering questions here, uh, at what point do you consider purchasing armor? That's um, an interesting question. Yeah, Actually. Swamp Boots is one of his uh, ones that he spends um, money on. <laughs> I kind of have a somewhat complicated answer to that question, actually. Um, so, in general, I will buy armor if the armor piece I'm looking at is two tiers higher than whatever slot I'm using. So, for example, if I have a tier one boot, and I'm looking at a tier 3 boot, since that boot is two tiers higher, I will go ahead and purchase it. That's usually my normal rule. Mm -hmm. um, I Now, the one, uh, the, the few times I break that rule, uh, like Mike said, one of them is Swamp Boots. I always buy that, regardless, okay. because that boot, that boot is really good. Another thing is, if I'm running, if I'm planning on having a character use support moves semi-consistently, I will actually go ahead and improve armor, even if it's only one tier above. Usually that's the case with intelligence and talent characters, because those two class types often use support moves. So let's say I'm using a fire staff on Gandalf, which has a reset skill, and I have apprentice shoes, which is tier two, and I see mage shoes. I will go ahead and get mage shoes for that. Okay. I Especially in For the King mode, because in For the King mode, I know late game, the chances of me getting Volcanic Tome is pretty much 100% practically. And that's definitely a weapon where you need as much intelligence as possible. So usually for intelligence, in For the King specifically, I will always improve intelligence gear, even if it's only one tier above. Okay. But when it comes to DPS characters, I really don't care about upgrading their strength or awareness if it's only a tier up because they're only dps characters like the, giving one additional awareness or one additional strength isn't gonna make a huge difference now Ooh. the one thing here with goblin merchants if we hadn't talked about this before i don't know if we've run into one but what we want to do is sell pretty much all the items that you've been like all the old armor and all that and weapons that you've been stockpiling because this is where you get the most money correct yes we don't want to sell everything. We need to make sure we keep the utility. For example, we don't want to sell all the party heals, and we don't want to sell all the rushes. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. So I'll I'll be keeping white loot for party heal. I'll be keeping decent loot for rush. But yeah. Everything else. Like I should be able to sell like iron foil hat, which you guys gave me. I don't do not want to sell that because it's got curse immunity, confuse immunity Correct. for certain battles. You don't want to you don't want to sell the utility like the torch. I don't want to sell fine distance. Yeah, don't sell the utilities. So I, I will usually never sell uh, immunities of any kind mm -hmm. normally. Um. So did you guys sell already or? I didn't have nope. anything to sell. Oh, you guys have. No, I gave anything. you the one. I gave you the one thing I was willing to sell, so you had the choice. Okay. The only thing is, is this cobalt spear is a slight upgrade. I don't think necessarily it's something we should stretch for and pay for, but I will make that mm -hmm. your guys' decision. It's only two. Increase. You can choose what to do with that if you want to. It's sell it or give it to Daddy. -o. Yeah. No, I don't. I think I'll just get the god spears. Okay. I would agree with that. I think the two extra damage isn't So one of the right things now. he did pick up was the Hildebrandt's Reserve. We mm. are trying to collect probably, you know, three Hildebrandt's Reserve throughout the course of the game. It's to save for the final tower at the end of the game. Is that rum that Daddy has? What is that? Yes, I have rum. Okay. <laughs> you, you guys drink so your reserve. I got my rum. Don't worry about it. Make me feel <laughs> good. Okay. So you want your confused immunity on you in order to make use of the rum. Yeah. Make it rain. I have the biggest multiplier at five. Kind of funny. Okay. I must have a fancy rough on or something. Yep. Ooh. Okay, good. Those More confused nice. immunity. In case we lose one somewhere along the way. Ooh. Well, we now have enough uh, curse, or, or I mean, confused immunity to deal with the confused things. All right. So back we want to head boat. towards. We we want to search this island here as we head on over toward Devil's Wharf. Okay. The only thing that we need to find is, I believe... Oh, no, we've already found that. Go ahead and do that. Do the unmarked buoy? Yeah. The bad effect isn't bad enough yet. Okay. There does yeah. become a part of the game where that does end up being really bad if you fail it. Hey. You can use that. Go ahead and use that. Yep. And I don't have any trinkets, so I might as well put this on. So we, we found well. the cult device, the dungeon, the statue. Go ahead and step out onto the island. Yeah. Is it the and then scourge everything. we're missing? It must be the scourge that we haven't found yet. Let's get the devil's No, dwarf. we found the scourge. It's the volcano. Oh, we did? Uh, the volcano. Oh, we did. Oh, I didn't even see. Okay. Then we must have found everything. So, with cult devices, again, you notice that we have passed up the Golden Plains one, and now we've done the Rogue Isles. We're just saving that for a rainy day if we absolutely need another life or something, correct? Yep, we save them for emergencies. We're not under pressure on the Chaos at the moment. So... It would change if you were under pressure with Chaos or a Scourge, correct? Yep. Yes. Oh, let me... The thing, is, I don't, the thing is, we don't know what we need to use it on. Okay, there's something I'd like to uh, show the audience, and it's going to require that uh, Sheldon and Daddio both do this as I explain it. All right, go ahead. Then. So I'd like both of you to go into the Devil's Wharf market. And okay. in particular, I want you to look at the Elm Pipe at the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the Elm Pipe, for the, if you're at level uh, zero for your pipe, it would be 18 bucks. If you're at level... Um, Level one, I believe the cost is 72. Correct. For the pipe? Yeah. Okay. Now, close out of that market, and I want you all to uh, scroll your map over to Parid and open up the market in Parid and look at the cost of the Elm pipe <laughs> in Parid. Pretty big difference. 16 gold. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. The, the, the Golden Plains biome is intended for characters of a little bit higher level than the Rogue Islands is intended for. Now, I would like you to close out of that market and look at Orton's market. <laughs> so open up Orton and look at the market there. 
should be the same price as Devil's Wharf. And that's my key point. If you look at the bone pipe cost in Orton, it is the same as the one for Devil's Wharf. When I first discovered this, it was an epiphany. <laughs> it basically told me the designers of this game expect you to go to the rogue islands after you leave the starting biome. It is intended for characters at the level three uh, situation. If you look at the main quest line in the top right corner, we're gonna be going to the rogue isles to handle the lich's crypt. We're gonna be going to the forgotten cellar in the burning forest. And eventually we're gonna end up killing the mine lord in the golden plains once all that's done, we're going to do the King's Maze in the Golden Plains. So you're going to end up in the Golden Plains after everything's done. So the time that it takes to go through all that and come back to do the King's Maze at the end, you should be at least level six, maybe even level seven by the time you get to the King's Maze. But early on, when you're coming out of the starting biome and coming out of the Glittering Mines, you're only level three. You need to be doing things that are of your level. When you spawn those chaos side quests, they're level four camps. When you look at the Mind Lord and you look at the Lich's Crypt, they're level five. You're not ready to handle those. What I discovered is the game actually wants you to go to the Rogue Islands first before you deal with the Golden Plains. So as our, as our pathing that Sheldon and I developed over time, we realized, oh, you want to search through the Golden Plains, find its mini dungeon, get that done at level three, and then get the hell out of the Golden Plains and get to the Rogue Isles as fast as you can. Because all the things around the Rogue Isles are intended for your level early on. And it was the markets that helped me to understand that this was the designer's intent. They <laughs> intend for you to be here first. So I just wanted you to see that that was the epiphany that we had that told us that's where we're supposed to be going. So are you saying, Mike, if you watched the game that I'm playing this morning and I went from the Burning Forest right back to the Golden Plains and haven't touched the Rogue Isles yet, I'd probably you'd probably pull your hair out watching that? that would, I would say that that was riskier risky. than to have come out here first. The Burning Forest towns, when it comes to the pricing, is yes. in between uh, Rogue Isles and Golden Plains. I, we can't. Um, we haven't been to Fire Elm, so we can't check the market right now. Yeah, but we haven't done either if we, one. If we could, uh, the price of the Elm Pipe will be pretty much uh, between the prices of the pipe for uh, Rogue Isles. So it was 72 for Devil's Wharf and it was 88 for mm -hmm. Parade. So I'm guessing 80, probably I 80. Th I think 80 Fire is Elm. correct. Yeah, it'll yeah. be between 72 and 88. Yeah. Yeah. Right in the middle, 80. Yeah. yeah. So that's the progression that the game wants you to go. Rogue Isles first, then either Bog or Burning Forest second, and then Golden Plains last. Or if you're just a man like me, you just you just do whatever you want. You just attack or, the yeah, hardest thing you first. You could go to those other biomes first, but you risk <laughs> you risk getting into combats that are more dangerous than you need to be involved in. I would agree. And okay. also, Devil's, Devil's Wharf is the best place to pipe up your characters as you're uh, going around. Mm-hmm because it's going to be the cheapest cost and easiest to access. So I'm just going to rest up here, correct? And then we're going to start venturing out, right? Yes. Yes. There's many things about this game physics that just don't make sense. Like, it's not obvious. There's so many things about this game that are just not obvious. Yeah, and <laughs> there, there's a part of it, too. I mean, you also have to take the information that we give you, but also use, you know, as you start learning pathing and all that, sometimes there's common sense. I actually, because of how I felt the the whole map was set up and how i had scourges popping up and how everything lined up in a row i actually felt going back through the golden plains hitting the side quest first and kind of going through made the most sense instead of venturing too far away um it could have been kind of the wrong decision but the big thing is that mike talks about is the golden plains is tougher and therefore i'm not fighting any creatures in that area i'm avoiding all of the creatures in that area i'm just hitting the side quests um as i'm going back through there and the scourges okay so where would you like me to go up okay oh we're gonna talk i was thinking i was thinking the volcano scourge okay at this point now i'm gonna just have to out, wrap around all the way it's fine 
and then use one focus point to do that. Any particular reason as to why, just because we're here? Well, there's actually like three different things we can do. And that was the closest of the things we could do. I was looking at, we could do the chaos camps now. That's actually valid. Uh, this was, we could do this. Uh, okay. We could go to the burning forest and try to find the Antimony dungeon. That's another thing we could do. Mm -hmm. so there's a few optional things we could do at this point. I just decided to do this one first because it's closer. So the thing is here with 61 and we can't kill uh, Coalheart on the first attack. So are we going after the Lava Golem or would you like to actually work on the Coalheart? Um, well, I, can't, I can't do a whole heck of a lot of damage on the lava we can golems definitely, either. We can definitely kill a golem before it goes, I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, my question is, you go ahead and attack the golem, daddy-o. Oh, okay, there we that... go. Oh, man. Well, actually, Mike can just... I do have a pierce attack that does 19 damage. Yeah, go ahead and do that. I can kill it. You can kill it. And you know what? I might as well just... Make sure. Make, make, make sure. Now, my bamboo staff does have a built in bleed, so I might as well bleed the guy here. My thinking is we should go after Coleheart now. Uh, he is faster than the Golem, so yeah, yeah if you can get going him for Coleheart now would be good. Yeah. That's another reason, uh, physics to do this scourge now is it, it does limit. Uh, how much backtracking we have to do we do have to end up backtracking anyways because the lich's crypt unfortunately is in the, in this in this biome so if we do run away from the rogue Isles, we're just gonna have to come right back to deal with the lich's crypt yeah he should bleed to death at this point yeah we can focus on the golem now yeah I can't hit him. I can't kill him even with my pierce attack. So I'm just gonna do a regular attack. He should bleed tick right now. I hope so. No, he doesn't. Come on. <laughs> Fine. Now you okay. Of course. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Stupid scourge. I'm trying to look through. Sorry if I'm a little distracted. I'm trying to see if there's any other questions. Oh, so we, here's a uh, here's an interesting uh, question. I don't know if you guys remember this, but when we were in the glittering mines and I had questioned us using a tinder pouch, um, in the glittering mines when all we did that was, was one of the few questionable plays I have made. This okay. game is, is that one. Okay, so you're willing to concede that. So I'm guessing that's where this is going. Is one of that someone actually caught one of my semi bad plays? Well, I'm guessing it's for. <laughs> it, here, let me let me frame the whole thing, and you guys can move on <laughs> doing this. So I too was surprised at Sheldon's Tinder pouch usage. Having Mike use his golden root, Mike having Mike use his golden root would have gotten the party almost the same benefit. Surely, that would have been a higher value action, given that a Tinder pouch is worth several roots slash God's beards. Okay. So, but in my opinion, though, tinder pouches cannot be used during battles. Well, get, golden roots can be. And sometimes having a golden root might be more important than having a tinder pouch. But I get that there's a lot more value with a tinder pouch over a golden root. Well, really the point me and Mike were trying to get across is like 90% of the time, your team will be hurt at that point in the game, and you should tinder pouch that spot. It did turn out that we ended up doing the first floor of the mines really well. So well, in fact, that we were pretty much fully healthy. Mm -hmm. So basically, I said, just out of habit, I'm going to tinder pouch anyways, even though it's not technically the best usage. Sure. Just wanted, just wanted to tell, just wanted to show people that I'm pretty much going to tinder pouch more often than not. Okay. And I'm... And assuming you get the free tender pouch in the Guardian Forest, you should come out of the mines with three tender pouches, which we do have three. So all you need is one tender pouch. You just need to somehow get one tender pouch playing through the game, and you'll have four going into the tower. Because we do like having four tender pouches going into the tower. And there really should be no reason to use a tender pouch in the overworld after the Guardian Forest. 
really. There shouldn't be any reason to do that. And I, unless if you happen to find, uh, unless if it's like a gigantic time save or something, but. Sure. The, the one thing I will say to that, though, is people who are probably starting off new and want to hold on to Tinder pouches because you don't make a lot of mistakes, Sheldon, and I think it's better for probably for beginner players maybe to hold on to Tinder pouches, especially maybe at the end of the game when they're inside of a tower. Um, the tower at the end to have more of those to kind of heal themselves up in between attacks. That's kind speaking of nice, too. Of, speaking of people's Tinder pouch usage, I often see people using Tinder pouches with the mindset of saving money. So what I end up seeing is people tinder pouching literally next to a town. That makes me cringe so much. Okay. It's like, oh my god, why would you tinder pouch next to a town? There's no reason to do that. And they're like, the same money. I'm like, <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> okay, so uh. you, you decided to pick the side quest Boots of Might. This is one of your few items that you say that you would select as a side quest, correct? Correct. Boots of Might and Goat Wizard Staff. Yep. Uh, sometimes Curve Bow, but in this game, we don't need Curve Bow. Well, actually, technically we do. You're still using Heavy Bow. Yeah. So if there was a Curve Bow, I would have considered it. But speaking of speaking of bows, you need a what? Yeah. Oh, you know what? There, there is a long bow. We just don't quite have enough money for it. Can I, I wonder if I can sell enough to get it. Might. Let me so see if I can get you that long bow. So again, you're still looking for upgraded weapons first before we start looking at armor. Oh, always. Yeah. Plus, you have to save your money for ending, which Sheldon just blew all of our money right there. <laughs> I got four gold if you need it, Mike. You guys don't have... Oh, did I blow all of our money? You just blew all our I money. I did. <laughs> we well, can... okay. Oops, slight mistake on my part. I probably I can probably figure out a way to fix that. Um... So should I just go ahead and do the side quest, or should we keep uh, roaming down? Go ahead and pick me up. Okay. And let me give you the bow. And let's see. Do you have anything else that could be sold? Um... I don't really. Well, now I have my heavy bow I can sell. Sheldon, give me the torch back. Okay. And let's see. I guess you're going to need that fancy rough. Okay, Does so... Anyone need... Give the fancy rough to daddy -o. He could use that. Give the fancy rough to daddy -o. Okay. Yes, I don't He's, have anything. He has, no he has nothing. He could be the gold multiplier collector now. Okay. Well, the only way I'm seeing both of you healing... Like, the safest way I'm able to see you guys healing without money is technically Mike gets statue and then we fight something in which 28 health is enough so something Either like that or we just need to come up with six gold somehow well okay so daddy -O can actually sell his purify scroll that's yeah. not particularly useful okay i'll just go ahead and do that i don't know how much gold it gives you Ooh, bone pipes are okay we can't use it right now we have no money but yep. you know Continue into a uh, fire realm and sell that purify scroll because that's crap. Well, I don't need the heavy bow anymore either. Well, I guess I could just hold on to that just to sell it for more later. Well, sell it now. That way you have enough to in. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Okay. And then Mike just needs to get that statue. And let's see. I am one, two, three movement away from getting to it, which is not great. We could I'm just sail to... around the island. We probably will have to sail around the island. You do yep. need your boots of might anyways, which is right there. Oh, nice. Okay. Might as well do that. Might as well do that. For sure. <laughs> and I'll show everyone the boots of might and why they're so good. The, the big reason why is a lot of strength boots ended up... If you guys actually watched my armor video, you would know this already, but... If, for those of you who haven't, uh, it is a boot that pretty much gives you a lot of strength without sacrificing any um, speed. And it also happens to be a boot slot that you use the entire game. Yes, it's that good. <laughs> yeah, Mike will not take that off ever. Because you also get physical damage too, which is pretty crazy. 
Yeah, four strength and four physical damage. That's a lot. Did you actually... What? What happened? Is that my turn gave... to pick up? Oh. That was I, odd. I gave Mike the his boots. Now we leave this, correct? Yes. Because it's Every... pretty much... It's a mimic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would probably kill me. <laughs> also, for those of you who don't know, if you stay up against the um, coast, uh, the Kraken will not attack you. Yeah, it cannot attack you if you're adjacent to any form of land, even these little mini uh, rocks. Little rocks, yeah. Yeah, in the water. Let's see here if there's any other questions here. Okay, so that's how I got my healing done. You can explore the biome a little bit, Mike. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look for torch it up the uh, the mini dungeon that's still out there. If we can find it before the town refresh, that'd be really nice. We're finding all the cult devices. <laughs> oh, nice. Got a nice keep, day. Perfect. Keep going. I keep can running. Keep looking. There it yes. is. Okay. okay, so that was <laughs> that was important. We're looking for that before the 15 round town refresh. Um, from the previous episode. We exited the Glittering Mines when the five night segments were at the very uh, end of the timeline about to activate. So we had basically, we have four more rounds of the, uh, before the town refresh occurs. So we were able to find it in that um, amount of time. We've already done so much in 10 rounds. Yes. Yes, we have. That's a very <laughs> yeah. good point because you can it only is. do five side quests and you can also do three of these you can find three of these catacombs and we've found all three and we've done four of the side quests and we could probably even get the dryer's lantern in 15 rounds too oh really you do panics. this now yeah i've got a uh i've got a panics <laughs> i'm just I worried can... about oh, i was more more worried about your damage output but uh, let's see if you can do i it. think i got enough damage output you probably do so acid is very bad for those of you who don't know. Make sure you get rid of acid right away. On, um, okay, yeah, you got it. Because what it'll do is it'll burn all of your equipment off. Oh, man. So you want to always okay. make sure you go into the Forgotten Cellar with at least one Panax. Yeah, if you've got it, yeah, for sure. Yes. The routing has gone pretty much as perfect as you can expect for a game. Pretty much, yeah. One, two, three, four. And I am exactly five away, so I can be Good. pulled back in by the boat, which is excellent. Yeah, we'll we'll just leave them, though. Let them run around for a bit. Remember, we want to try to make this a little bit difficult, right? <laughs> actually, I know, I know that was a joke, but I'm actually considering if that's actually good idea um because what else is there to find the scourge well, the scourge we can yeah. do the catacombs now that we found it we do need to go to dryard's lantern if we if he wants to run to it potentially we also have a we have we have nine rounds left on the chaos henchman camp in the golden plains actually even if even if mike did run around uh if I move and then Daddy moves, Daddy would have enough movement to enter the catacombs anyway, so I might as well just pick him up. Because <laughs> we're going to make it to that catacombs with just two character rounds. Yeah, okay. and then after the, after the catacombs, we're probably going to want to go do the Chaos Henchman camp that's over there in the Golden Plains by that cult device, because that's going to be about eight I rounds. usually use my Scholar or my Gladiator. Actually, to be honest, even the Trapper can do it if your Trapper is still using an Awareness. I will try to do it on my gladiator more so because um, he will very likely be doing the most damage. Although the reason he's not is because he still is using a Act One weapon, which we will fix eventually. Hmm. Probably want to get the Bone Bard. Actually, will you guys be able to take out the Hobgoblin, or should I? Yeah, but... So the Hobgoblin is, that... is the most dangerous of these three. Yeah, the Hobgoblin notice, is really he's bad. He's using a two-handed sword, so basically he's using probably a bastard sword or a broadsword, and they can do a lot of damage with that thing. So you definitely don't want that sucker attacking you. Uh, yeah, sticking around. There we go. <laughs> I used a focus there to get as much damage as I could with the Pierce attack, and I did, managed, I... managed, managed to get a lucky crit on top of it.
Okay, he is next. I sh didn't quite uh, get it. Didn't quite get it. Yep. Not too worried about the damage he's going to do to us. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there we go. Not doing anything. <laughs> Should be able to still get him there. Yeah, it, there it we usually go. can't dodge twice in a row. That's something that we've kind of noticed is when something dodges an attack, it often can't dodge the very next attack that comes its way. Unless, of course, it has a perfect effect symbol on it. Okay, but... Daddy, you're taking the gold now because you have the gold multiplier. Okay. And. I've... I'll go ahead and take that. I've really noticed that when fighting uh, chickens in Lost Civilization. That very first carnival where you have to fight all those chickens, because they often dodge the first attack, but they can, but they don't dodge the second attack. Uh, let's see. Does anyone have an idea? Yes, Daddyo, you have an identify scroll, so I'm gonna pass this to you. Go ahead and use your identify scroll on that. Okay, Mimic. so now we open right. it up for so, a good no, attack, right? No, we yeah, no, <laughs> you don't open it up. Um, if you're gonna use an identify scroll, there's, uh, you should always pass if it's a mimic. Otherwise, you just wasted the identify scroll. If you're not going, if you're going to attack a mimic, no matter what, then don't bother to waste. Yeah, the there is scroll. no reason to think. Should I open the chest if you use an identify scroll? That that thought process should not exist. <laughs> you should not be having that thought process if you identify yeah, scroll. Daddy is currently using a gold, uh, no a fancy, a fancy rough for like five percent gold multiplier. It's not a lot, but it's more than nothing. Okay, someone did ask the question, where do mimics fall in terms of enemy difficulty? If you do not have an identify scroll, do you skip chests? No, not necessarily. We not would only necessarily. skip it. We'd only skip it if somebody's within death range of that mimic killing them. Usually. Usually. Yep. The hope so is So oftentimes at the beginning of the game, when you're really without any kind of equipment at all, the uh the dark cave in the starting biome can I... potentially be dangerous. No. I Thing. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did. I did do enough damage to be able to knock him out. Okay. Oof. Ow. Do a lot of damage. Come on, can I get called shot on one? So, physics. Uh, thanks for continuing to provide us with good questions on stream we will continue to try to answer the best we can one miss should kill it oh, of course you get two <laughs> there we go at least i made up for it with a dodge yeah <laughs> so, so yeah an yet another dungeon that our team was capable of handling now, I know you're not going to use these, but... Nope. I'm going to just collect that. Well, considering we already did two level three dungeons, the third one should be even easier. <laughs> you, would that's ideal. you would hope. Getting all, getting <laughs> all three is not necessarily easy to do, depending upon your ma it's map. It's not. It's, sometimes it's very difficult to get all three. Yeah. Yeah. But our pathing has been so good. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give that to Sheldon. He will okay. end up using that at the in the tower at the very end of the game. I'm gonna equip that, and that's also for him to have. He probably nah. already has one. But... I already have that, but I can yeah, collect he, it. You can hold on to it. Actually, I don't even know what stuff I have anymore. So now all three of us are injured coming out of this cave. So we're probably either gonna want to go to a town. That's a free or look at other fight, options for way. getting. What's a free? What's a free hit? That's a free fight. Just like, oh, that that yeah. bandit captain. Yeah, we can handle that bandit captain. Yeah, we can handle. Question is, what's uh, where do we go after that? So, just looking at our situation and the the role that I just picked up, um, I could almost not quite get to Dryer's Lantern to trigger the side quest from there. Be nice if we could actually. Find we a luring pool we do here. we do need we do want to get back to the Chaos Henchman camp. Uh, with nine rounds remaining, so probably going back to Fire Elm with the with the gold and potentially getting Godspeed from the Pipesmith with the time we have available might be our best play here. So I'm actually going to try to get back to the Pipesmith if we can and ship damage. This is a lot of potential ship damage. Okay. Well, only two. 
Okay, actually, and I don't want to sail with this money. That's a bad habit. So let me get rid of that. Yeah, yeah that's a bad habit. Okay, so trying to head over to Fire Elm so that we can heal there and potentially get the Godsbeard from that pipe smith. Yeah, I'm looking at that pipe smith. So pretty much what we're going to start doing here is doing some of the chaos camps here in a minute, right? Yeah. Go ahead and give me the gold. Healed up. Whoops. Oh, you, you want the gold now? Yeah. I'm actually going to focus in. I'm going to... Don't want to risk him disappearing. <laughs> that's ex yeah, that's exactly right. Do not want him disappearing. And save enough money still... for all of us to end. Please. Yeah, I would love to get these other herbs, but nope. Can't do it. You would like to get what the panics is and the gold yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. I really would, but you guys need to end. Okay, so pick you up. Pick me up. I'll give you the gold. And then, oops. And then you can go ahead and heal. Okay. See here if there's a. There and look, it goes. There it goes. As soon as the Oof. weather changed. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be standing yeah, gotta... out there in the rain. Yeah. Well, you want to go get those ah. before you lose them, essentially. So, do you ever consider purchasing scrolls, or are they just a, simply a luxury? Most of the time, it's a luxury. The only time we would probably purchase scrolls is late game uh, and sometimes vision scrolls to find something that we're desperately trying to find or uh, teleport or portal scrolls if we haven't been getting enough throughout our gameplay. Okay. Right, yeah. And for the last question that I received, when shopping in the night market, what are you looking for? Oh, it ends up being... Okay, I'm so lost. Yeah, I kind of covered that a little bit as we started the stream, but essentially what I'm we're, look we're looking for in night markets is any kind of weapon or other item that is going to stay with that character till the very end of the game. So, uh, Iron Anchor, for example, would be the best weapon possible for a strength character. We'll never probably need to change from that. That would be something I would probably look for. Um... Trinkets like the Amulet of Souls, which is something I would probably wear the very the whole rest of the game. Um, the improved version of the Fancy Ruff called the Golden Ruff, which provides uh, encourage built into the item. Okay, would probably be something that I would look for. Those are all items that once we put it on our character, we'll probably never take it off. So it's an end game item. Okay. After that, if there's nothing in there that's an endgame item that we're interested in, um, I would start looking for strategic items that provide some utility. So, for example, a lucky coin that's going to give you plus 15% gold multiplier for the rest of the game would be something I would pick up. I'm actually going to go ahead and in again. Or um, a trinket that gives you confuse immunity, for example. Something to those uh, that give you that strategic bonus in specific fights. Sheldon will often uh, pick up noisemakers. I'm not so much a noisemaker fan. It's nice to have if there's nothing else, but I often save my money. But noisemakers is another item that he might pick up. That's the thing. I was, someone was talking about me about saving money is, well, how many herbs do we win the game with? Like, do we really need that many herbs? Like, what else would you spend your money on? Well, something like a noisemaker. Because we right. often will win with a bajillion herbs that we don't te technically need. Okay, we probably so already have a lot. I want to point out that night is about to begin. This is the point at which we exited from the glittering mines on the previous stream. Mm -hmm. So our town, our town refresh is going to occur when I end my turn at this point. Now, um, I have to say that I have a work meeting that's about to start. So I'm going to give us the option of we could either end the stream now or you could continue to play with me continuing to play, but without me uh, listening in or commenting for about 20 minutes. OK, so for those of you that see us in different clothes on YouTube, uh, we are doing this actually on two different streams, but we're going to splice this together in one long video to make it all the way to the King's Maze. Uh, one thing that we noticed right off the bat, I went to go 
attack and found out that Mike, for some reason, there's a bug and it's not allowing us to all attack together. So I already passed my turn and now it's Mike's turn to go after the henchman camp. So go ahead, Mike. Okay. So I was just going to make a, a quick discussion before I go and initiate that attack that uh, when my turn comes to an end, we will have completed the 15 rounds after the Glittering Mines, and that should involve us encountering the town refresh as soon as my turn ends. It will also be the first night segment when I end my turn, and the night markets are going to open up when that happens. When it is nighttime, and it is the uh, after the 15-round town refresh timer has expired, that is when Iron Ink will first begin appearing in night markets so our timing for the nighttime occurring along with the 15 town uh 15 turn town refresh occurring is almost perfect the only issue is it would probably cost about 86 bucks to get that iron anchor we only got 26 so <laughs> it might be cheaper than that actually but yeah it it might be cheaper but uh, we're we're probably going to need to collect a little bit of cash anyway so uh, we should hopefully get some cash out of this Chaos Henchman camp. So I'm going to go ahead and start this fight. This is going to be a little bit damaging, this fight. Uh, we're barely level 4. Our it, should weapon, be, it shouldn't be too bad. Our weapons aren't necessarily upgraded yet. I'm still running with a Tier 1 uh, old short sword. Um, a lot of times we've gotten much better weapons than this by the time we've encountered Chaos Henchman camp. So this is going to be relatively difficult fight now because this is our first what i would say is upgraded camp um because of course we did the guardian forest um what are your guys's thoughts in terms of how do you go about doing this attack so who well, it, often, it, often, it often highly depends upon what weapons we have when we're going in okay a lot of a lot of times uh sheldon's scholar already has a goat wizard staff by the time we're engaging these and that goat wizard staff can one shot the chaos soldier with 24 health i'm one damage short <clears throat> yeah he happens to be one damage short with what he has yeah. right now so it kind of does depend on what weapons you have as you're coming in here as to as far as like what can you kill before they can hit you back okay so um would you say like would you go so for i'm the first person that gets to attack and what i could do is i could be super risky and try to kill the chaos soldier but i have to almost hit every single check on a heavy draw okay so here's here's the deal between you and myself because we're the two that are going to be going first we have enough damage output to kill the chaos mage if we get perfect attacks the Chaos Mage, in my opinion, is probably the worst one of this group because he will do a group spread attack that causes random uh, effects that can be really, really devastating. So I would recommend that you and I both put two focus into an attack to the Chaos Mage to try to ensure that we kill him. Okay. Between the 20 damage from me and the 17 from you, we should be able to do it. There you go. <laughs> And that's what's good. Like, I, I want to try to spell this attack out because you end up doing this attack almost like up to five times in between the three biomes. So it's good to kind of know what you should be attacking first to get max. Right. Yeah, you'll, you'll probably very likely you'll fight this exact same fight three times. Like so I, I want to just finish this guy off and not yes, wait for we don't. We don't want to take the extra hit, so just kill him. Yeah. Always secure the kill before you get hit. Perfect. So that was actually the best we could have done with that fight. <laughs> Excuse me. And I think I still have the... Uh, you have 5% 5%, yes. Yeah, I'll pass that over. Ooh, okay. <laughs> A little bit better shoes. All right, so that's left me damaged, unfortunately. Um, I'm Make it gonna, in you. Yeah, I'm going to actually just end my turn. You guys can pull me back into the boat. I think that's what I'm going to do. So yep. what are we looking to do next? Are so going to go as I next? end my turn here, we should see the town refresh. If not, then you're one run off. But you're not. There it is. But you're not. Yeah. There it is. 
Yeah. <laughs> and now the night markets are open. So one of the purposes for stepping into every night market along the way, even during the daytime, is we can now just click through every one of these and see what they have looking for the Iron Anchor or anything else that we might be interested in. There is something that is cheap and I do like. Man, there's monkey armor, shaman armor, frost wand, sword spell. There's some good stuff out there. There is some good stuff. Can I have some monies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no worries. So one thing also, too. Wamp boots. I know we've Zeus talked blade. about this a little bit, but because of the town refreshes, the one kind of nice thing about us not hitting every single town is in Dry Dryad's Lantern. Lantern? Yeah, dry Dryad's uh, Lantern. Yeah. Dryads, dryads. Dryads. I'm sorry. I, I always say dryads with an R. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. I do the same thing. It's just, it's actually dryads. <laughs> I have an engineering background, not an English background. So I'm much better off doing numbers than I am talking. So, uh, but the one thing that you guys will see now is when we do unlock that side quest, it's, it's going to be level six side quest and way more difficult than the level four that we just faced. So keep that in the back yeah, of your way mind. Yeah, difficult if we eventually do that side quest. So what are you going to purchase here? I actually purchased Swamp Boots and I traded them to you, Daddy-O. Okay. Way better than your crappy ass worn leather boots. <laughs> Appreciate yeah, it. Swamp, swamp Boots is the <laughs> one piece of armor that uh, Sheldon will typically purchase irregardless of the tier being like one tier below. Right. Um, because it provides the immunities of the poison and uh, immunity plus water so you don't lose it and it gives you additional speed. Mm -hmm. Pretty good uh, piece of armor, but otherwise we generally look for weapons or other end-game related uh, trinkets. You sure no one well wants my sweet worn leather boots? <laughs> I got my <laughs> no. boots of might. I'll be using my boots of might probably the entire game. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Looks like Fire Elm and Parid are the only two towns that I see that have a strength upgrade because Mike really badly needs one at this point okay for weapons yeah okay, so, so... Fi fire elm has a machetes or stingers where parid has uh -huh. dual hammer or sorry dual hatchets yeah those are all pretty good options all pretty for, good. Good for myself although we know. need money for any of that yes we do um we could have mike in at fire elm and just go ahead and kill another chaos cam, I suppose. So the other thing that we should be able to handle right now would be a level four sea cave. Oh, yeah, or a sea cave. And there happens to be one kind of in all amongst all those islands down underneath the Warlock's volcano. Yes. Uh, that's probably the closest one we could potentially go after. Or we could go actually one directly to our left. Yep. Uh, that's actually the closest of all of them. I just need to get healed up before we attempt it so we, we could potentially sail to caselli's watch i could potentially heal up there yeah it's a little bit more expensive than fire elm but that's okay at 22 just, well if we went to fire elm we we're literally want, say, we're, yeah. we're, it's basically saving two gold <laughs> no no let's do caselli's watch i think that's gonna yeah. be a lot quicker yeah it's just a little bit faster just save time spend two gold to save time basically yep <laughs> One more to the left. Yeah. Now, you definitely oh. you, you don't want to you don't want to risk two percent death. Yeah. <laughs> there you That's go. Good. Now now it's okay. Yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> Any level, there. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, actually, just, uh, just end, my turn. end your turn there. Yeah. So, uh, while he's looking to go in, uh, what other weapons are you looking for, Sheldon, other than the strength weapons? Is there any ones that you saw that you think are good for yourself for the intel i was actually i was looking for there probably was i was looking at strength first because he need bad he uh mike badly needed a weapon before uh, you or i needed okay. one um so, so for intelligence like the jade staff at the caselli's watch would work wanda protection would work although i would prefer not to buy a wand if i don't have a really good shield there's a it. fire there's a fire staff in parid that's pretty that, good that's what yeah that's one i like i do really like fire staffs 
Um, and there's a water wand in Parid as well. A we along with dual hatchets in Parid. Yeah. Yeah, the fire staff is looking like my favorite. It's also the cheapest of all the options as well. So I'll probably end up... We could go to... Okay, well, here's an interesting idea. At some point, we do need to kill that chaos camp that rots in seven rounds. That The luring pool there also happens to be closest to Parid, so that's probably the moment we buy our weapons. But we need money first, so doing the sea cave right now is definitely a must. Otherwise, if we otherwise if we don't do the CK now, we do side quest first. We'll end up having the backtrack and waste more time. So let's go ahead and do the the CK here. Yeah, we need that money. Yeah, we need that money for sure. The. We're not going to have enough damage output to kill the snake, but the snake is pretty nasty. Also, yeah. Merling soldiers are also pretty nasty as well. But yeah, we they are. We can definitely kill the swashbuckler if we go after him, but you're thinking I should damage somebody else. Well, Sheldon, what do you think? Well, I'm thinking if we all three target one enemy that's not the swak buckler if the swak buckler then steals we were we, we could just kill the swak buckler with a triple focus fire so i'm thinking we uh pick the merling warrior or the router to triple focus fire dead and then go for either the rattler or the swak buckler depending if the swak buckler steals or not nice okay pretty good so far so the swak buckler will determine okay well we might as well go okay, for the so he didn't then. steal yeah actually why don't we kill well it doesn't, guess it it doesn't matter it's not yeah it's wow we got oh. lucky with those wow. misses Oh, that's okay. actually there, perfect. There we go. Did, like, now no we're going to get him. That's kind of what I was hoping for. <laughs> now, the only reason I'm going to focus this is because the Swak Buckler does have high evade. Okay. Yeah. We don't, we don't want him yeah. evading. <laughs> that's we're the only reason. Our gold. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Daddy, you can multiply my 12 gold. Yay, and then one extra. And, and then this too. <laughs> <laughs> I know why I kind of like people stealing your gold because you can multiply it back up so you actually gain interest. Yeah, uh, it. it's it's a risk reward kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. And we can just open this. Yeah, somebody was asking uh, the question about like, do we ever not open chests if we don't have identify scrolls, and the answer is we will if we feel like we're in good health and having a lot of god spirit with decent weapons so here's an example of you know i would have opened this chest irregardless of not having an identify scroll oh damn uh, that's not good oh, oh man, man. We're gonna it's gonna take forever to kill this guy all right i'm gonna have to Can probably we... use the golden root here because i need to get some damage into him uh, does your scholars what level you by chance uh that's a good question It'll do only 10, so no. Ah, oh, damn. I'm gonna do a gold rip. Okay. Oh my goodness, my rolls. So why aren't you worried about dying here, Sheldon? Because my, because I, my, I hate my sanctum. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, he's willing to let that one sanctum be the only one that you would <laughs> let him, let him die for yeah. it. <laughs> There's a famous word that Sheldon uses, but we just won't use it right now. It's the same yeah. of S is what he calls it. Yeah, very, pretty much. I don't say that word, but yeah. yeah. Oh, nice my. roll. <laughs> Not. Oh, my God. Let me show you how it's done. Guys. <laughs> <Same. laughs> just make the thing stop bouncing up and down. Oh, please. my. Who I'm... needs talent? <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. 
Well, you don't need you don't need it right now. Pass it then. I might actually use it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's actually better than what I'm using right now. Yeah. If we find a good loot, he could we could switch gear again. So at I'm some gonna go ahead and party heal here. So at some point, uh, we should probably talk about. Um, okay. You know what, Daddyo? What? Your armor is so pathetic. You you need to put this leather armor. But on. it's gonna kill my yeah. awareness. I don't care. All it's right. too pathetic. It's <clears throat> too pathetic. So you honestly feel that it's so bad. All right, you're gonna pass it over. I did pass it. Yeah. Leather armor at five armor, oh. three resistance. I'm sorry. I thought you gave me back the talent, the the talent one that oh, hurt my awareness. No, no, oh, no. I could have. Okay, I can understand but that, that. But that would have nerfed your awareness, and you're currently using awareness weapons. That, that's exactly why I was surprised you were saying that. I didn't realize you gave me the... Yeah, the I gave you the leather three. armor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's go. But at some point, we should probably talk about the slight change in meta between the hunter and the trapper. Because right. I know we started the game with the hunter, but oh, that's right. We don't. We can't. Okay, I forgot about that. So okay, um, the cursed witch is not. I gonna... believe we have a, we have enough damage output to kill her before she can attack us back. Nice, especially by crit it. Nice. It'd be really nice if we could kill her, Mike, because I can one shot that bat, which is nice. And the one thing for newer players. You gotta pay attention to this evasive um, ah. enemies is that you need perfect rolls to hit them. So you're almost better off killing the non-evasive ones first because it's so hard to hit these other ones. Like I'm gonna be next to worthless hitting anything here because I'm at 78%. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> and this Merling Fire is obsessed with me. And then I'll try again on the bat here there we go <laughs> all right that should actually get us enough gold to probably pick up some nice things in some of those night markets anything that we like oh sorry about that no worries health regeneration probably one of the weaker necklaces you would say right I don't know. Um, I will use it on occasion. If I, I, cons I consider it a micromanage item. Okay. It is a it is a micromanage item. Yeah. It's not something <laughs> I, don't I would like, wear. I don't like micromanage items. Yeah. And what I'm assuming you mean by that is, like, if you know you're gonna walk around a lot, you give it to your lowest health person so he can walk around and heal up. Correct. So technically, Amberheart. If, if every single turn you made sure you ended the round with Amberheart, you could have your team literally trade over Amberheart at the end of every character's turn throughout the entire game <laughs> to really maximize that. That's what I mean by a micromanage item. That's why I don't like it. Because yes, it's a very useful item if you were to do that, but the time spent doing that is just a little... <laughs> that, yeah. that is... That's, a, that's <laughs> next level micromanagement. I don't think I would do that. Well, I, right. it's something you can do, that's the thing. Sure. Yeah. I have a Kettle Helm that provides me two armor and plus one strength and stun immunity. Does anyone want this Bandit Helm? No, you, you, you or Daddy yeah, definitely may, need to Yeah, maybe wear this. I do. One of you two. Okay, okay it looks like Daddy's Helm is kind of crap, so I will go ahead and pass this to <laughs> Everything I have is crap. It's okay. <laughs> This is definitely a bit. This is actually a big upgrade for me, sadly yeah. enough. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, a tender pouch. I like these. Okay. Oh, I think Sheldon already had one of these. I think I have. I think I'm wearing it right now, actually. Yeah. 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 Um, I'll go ahead and collect that for now. All right. Okay. Okay. So it's my so turn. We now, we now have 124 bucks. So let's see. Do you want to just hit the camp? Or Not yet. Or we too weak? I'm taking a look at what we can get for improved weapons before we go after anything else. 
Uh, there's a frost wand or a sword spell in the night market in per in the uh, Golden Plains. I'm Those are definitely still kind of liking the fire staff in Parid. Okay, well, Parid's a little bit harder to get access to unless Sheldon was to teleport over there and then walk back to get There's no reason the to boat. do that. There's no reason to do that because we might as well use the alluring pool to kill the chaos camp that's above Parid. Oh, we have... do have the alluring pool. That's that's right. Yeah. So that's that's our play. We should actually sail over to the alluring pool over here in the islands. Portal over to, so that we could take care of that chaos camp over there. And in the meantime, we're really close to Parid and Sheldon can run over. We could even decide to that. kill Demos if we really wanted to. Because that Demos is a way better hat for you, Mike, than that kettle helm. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> Way all better. up over there. So the alluring pool over here is a good play right yeah. now. We can just do that now, actually. So yes. the one thing you guys notice, or for the viewers out there watching this, how these guys are constantly trying to map out what they want to do to maximize their movement as much as possible. That's like the biggest thing to learn from jumping to the next level to be able to play this game is just every single round, every single movement matters. You have to do it in the right order, because if you don't, you end up backtracking, trying to prevent backtracking. Yeah. Um, oh, before I go through, um, do you want to get the money from Daddyo first? E yes. Good call. Thank you. I may have actually probably needed that dancing nether you had, Mike, but I guess, oh well. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's all right. What about your two scholars' warts? Is that enough well, to get Yeah, to if I, you? I would have to eat them both, but yeah, I guess I could do that. Um, yeah, I could do that. Oh, what is this? Uh, hey. Okay, an item. Oh, okay. It's a decent, decent shield. Decent shield. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get my... Actually, Mike, you're still using an old short sword, aren't you? I am. All right, well, in that case, I'm going to get this one instead. And... Oh, can I meditate? Maybe. Let's see if I can meditate here. Now, that's a true team player right there. He had a chance to get what he wanted. <laughs> but I have he's... a uh, hat in my room that's stuck in here. I'm going to go free him. Well, you have to work with your team. You have to increase your team's damage output in the right order to to have better chances of winning. Me improving my weapon, while yes, it's a improved damage output, it's not as much damage output if I were to upgrade Mike over me. Mm -hmm. So if you if you end up being selfish in this game, because there's, I see people like they trade their gold and like they don't want to give their gold over to their team. Like like my gold is for Mike. It's like if you play like that, you're gonna lose. You just are. You're just going to lose. <laughs> or if you I'm going to have to make my way over. Or if you just play with someone like me, Mike and Sheldon hoards everything first, and then just because if I die, it's not really that big of an impact on the team. Is that how that works? Yeah. <laughs> Anything that yeah. Sheldon has yeah. belongs to me. <laughs> it's like marriage. Hey, physics. Good to see you here. Okay, you just want me to end my turn here? Uh, yeah, might as well regenerate some health. Yep. Yeah, nice to see you, physics. I saw that you typed. I purposely didn't reply. I apologize. I'm just, like, in the zone. I guess you just sit there? Um, um I could be up to three hexes away and still be in range, correct? As long as it doesn't rain, yes. So, yeah. I, could, so I could entertain over here. You, okay. I'll laugh my ass off if it rains, but okay, yeah. Okay, all right. If it rains, you're screwed. Yeah, we'll see. Risk reward, 18 gold for a potential okay. no attack. <laughs> okay, you're good. How bad would have Sheldon yelled at you if that would have... It's a, it's an RNG that could happen. It would only have been a round waste. It's not a huge deal. So why didn't you spend one focus point to attack him? To be honest, I don't have a good reason. Okay. <laughs> I don't, yeah. You could have. I could have. Just ki I didn't know if there was a rhyme yeah. or reason to it. No, I didn't have. I don't know All if right. it was. Sheldon, you didn't happen to have a weapon that I was supposed to grab from you, did you? Uh, yeah, but you stepped away. I. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
So okay. probably do All the right. same so thing with the chaos so, uh, mage. Yeah, again, we want to take out that chaos mage. We can kill him before he acts. Shogun nice. now has Ooh. enough damage to one-shot the chaos soldier, which is nice. Yep. That is very nice. Yeah, I got lucky with a board check 74 percenter. 78 percenter, sorry. Nope. All right, well, <laughs> Daddyo can finish him yeah. off then. I'm dodging, man. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Blew him off the map. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, no damage practically. We can just we can just go and kill Demos. I think that was no damage at all, completely. That's actually a better weapon than I'm currently using. <laughs> sad. It's pretty sad. Not by but... much, but a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a better weapon for you. I just gotta trade it to you. <laughs> It'd be funny as if he four check insta breaks it on the first attack Ooh. if we don't trade it. <laughs> you know what's funny is that. Pickaxe has an elite door bash ability, so it's actually something I would probably save for a while. Let's go. Let's go kill Demos. I mean, he's over here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Help. Yeah. So the fact that you started the fight ended up not being a waste of movement after all. Now, <laughs> yeah. oh, I can't use. Uh, no, you're fine right there. Oh, yeah. either way. I guess yeah, I could have gotten. You could have regenerated one health. Wouldn't have mattered. That's I know true. we can start the fight now, but do you want your weapon first, Mike? I kind of do. Yeah. I can walk toward you and give it to you, or you walk to me and I hand it to you. Up to you. If I walk to you... Why don't you just stay yeah. there and yeah, yeah, entertain yeah, yeah. again? Yeah, no, no, no. Oh. Well, now I'm going <laughs> to defend against this thing. Oh, <laughs> shit. That's going to change things quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't the best move have been to just stay there, entertained, and then he could have walked to you and handed it to you? Probably. Probably. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I have a 50% chance to run from this combat. Uh, I'm going to have to use another golden route to make sure I get out of here. Yep. Yeah. yeah that really, that's really unfortunate. Yeah. It is. I definitely should, if we get a chance to do it, I should hand you my golden route because you are way more effective in battle than I am. So there's no point in me holding it, especially when I only get four. Focus now you got now you now you got the dancing nettle in range of the thing too. Uh, he probably am going to have to. Yes, indeed. Yep. Let me give you. I'm gonna give you my golden root. Okay, he can trade me the weapon from here. There you go. All right, and Dual Hatches is way better. All right, are we are we ready here? Okay. I'm not going to do a whole heck of a lot against him, so this is going to be all you guys. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. All right. There we go. That's some good damage. This is also kind of my point of why I like the Trapper a little bit more, is I just feel like awareness weapons can be kind of weak, especially like the, like through this entire point of this game. I always feel like the Hunter doesn't do a whole heck of a lot all the way through almost the Golden Plains, unless you can get like a good spear. Yeah, awareness weapons are pretty crap in my opinion. Here you go, Mike. All right, that's my new helmet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, we have enough money to get me the fire staff now. So we should uh, probably right. in and should we kill the mine lord while we're over here? No. No. Okay. Um, I was thinking about well, that, but actually, we wouldn't want to be fully. I want to be fully healed first before we deal with the mine lord. That's what I'm saying. Should we in and then? beat up on the mine lord after we upgrade sheldon's weapon well we actually probably do have the damage we would need to do it with the dual hatchets now and the 
bamboo staff probably would be enough. Okay. Should I just? Well, walk I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm not in any hurry to do it though. I, I'm gonna get a fire staff, and no, yeah, yeah. I'm not, we're no we're no hurry. I'm in no hurry to do it. We do have confused immediate on everyone. If you know, all daddy, uh, daddy would have we, to do if is we wait put on till, uh, If we end up waiting till later, we'll end up using the alerting pool again. Kill the mind lord. We all heal up parade, and then I, and then I just teleport to the king's maze because that's when the king's maze will open up at that point. Okay. Should I just? So should I be going towards parade or the alerting pool? Wait, did you did you use movement and then ask that question? Yes, I did, stupid. Yes. I made a mistake. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I, I, I say the alluring pool. I don't think we need to do the mind lord this instant. Okay. So I just wasted around there. See, we all made like a mistake about turns, okay. like back to back to back. I was just trying to follow your guys' lead with making mistakes on turns. No. Oh no! I, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure I make a mistake or two every single game I play. You have to. Like, you're not gonna do it. Yeah. Flawlessly. I'm, I can't do flaw. Yeah, I don't do it flawlessly. All right, well, that's a good movement I got. Oh, because of my sanctum of crap. That's why. Oh my god, my sanctum actually was useful. <laughs> for once. Yeah, Golden Plains also gives you plus one to your movement rolls, just for the biome itself. So, yeah, that's why you had so much movement. Yeah. Yeah, like seven movement or something. And I didn't really lose any time because I still was going into the luring pool before everyone else anyways. Oh, wow. Yeah. Where did all our money go? <laughs> oh, my weapon. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. Actually, I could probably use Fire Elm to heal. Yeah, you could definitely yeah. use Fire Elm to heal. Take advantage of that. Probably move us over a couple to the right then. Yeah. Yeah. Right about there. Actually, right here. Yeah. So, <laughs> are we all healing up here, or just you and Sheldon? Um, definitely Mike for sure. All right, you could pull in Sheldon from the from there. We could go ahead and probably, well, for Forest Mystic with no focus is really bad. That is true. We can three v one a wizard crab. I think that's actually a little bit safer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no. Twenty five percent chance. Oh wow, thirty percent chance to sink. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. We don't have any boat repairs either. Do we not? Um. Nope. Nope. So do we fight this wizard crab? They, they don't injure the boat though, right? They don't, they don't, they don't injure the boat, no. Luckily. There is something though that does injure boats. Huh? There is something that does injure boats though. That would be, you know, like puffer fishes and um, monkey explodings. Uh, Twalk bucklers with hammers. Stuff like that. Those are like captains with hammers, I think. Cat or yeah. Or pirate captains with hammers, something like that. Alright. Give the money to Mike. Yeah, I'm gonna need probably a lot of that, yeah. I can almost heal up just from waiting. Yeah, you know, if you want that, if you want to micromanage the Amber Heart, be my guest. Disgusting. <laughs> you you already have uh, health regeneration from the Bandit Helm and health regeneration from your Sanctum, so you can, recover a, you can recover a lot of health with all that combined. I feel like right. whatever decision I make, I make one of you guys mad, so this stays. No, it's... No. <laughs> no. It, there's, there's nothing wrong with... Uh, you, micromanaging health regen. It actually helps you win master easier, technically. Sure. Now, I would only advise micromanaging is if you absolutely need every little advantage possible. Sure. Uh, and then I need the in. Oh. This is okay. That's just one. But it's just you. 
Oh no. No, it's no, all of us. It showed no, it was not. only you. <laughs> really? Well, that's, the, that's the difference between uh, uh, being defended versus having enough awareness that the defend becomes a just an attack. It wasn't an ambush, if that's what you thought. Well, what was weird is it just showed you up on the screen, so I thought that just meant it was going to be you who was going to be in the fight. I saw three portraits of everybody, so... Okay, I'll have to look back at the it. video, because I, unless and I'm going crazy... There are, little, there are little glitches in the game. Sure. <laughs> yeah, there are, it could have been a tiny little glitch that you ran into, and I just happened to not see it on my end. Cool. I wonder if the mystical hat actually might yeah, not hold be on a too second. bad for me. There you go. Potentially. Um... Hold on, before I go. Is there any more money that you need from Daddio? Uh, I, probably not. There but... are God Spirit in there if you want to get those. Yes. There's, maze have... shoe, there's a maze shoes and maze You in there. also have Zippo pipe, Mike. Zippo pipe. That, that's that's true. I probably should get pipes sometime yeah. soon. I'm just going to end. We need to kill the Chaos Camp before it rots away. Okay. We could, also, we, could, in the, we could also fight yeah. a random Merling ship just because, if you want. That's fine. Yeah, so yeah. boat fights are, are recommended. <laughs> yes, boat fights are recommended. Even with only two health on the boat? Yes, because Merling's, Merling ships can... Uh, since there's a puffer fish, you just focus the puffer fish down. <laughs> okay. in, this case, mon in this case, monkey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a chance we can... Screw up and the monkey blows up our ship, but it's like, well, it's okay. <laughs> Kick me for seven. Alright. You all have oh, to finish him. That's, that's unfortunate. There you go. <laughs> now, the other thing you guys should notice, too, is that uh, both Sheldon and uh, both Sheldon and Mike are cursed, but because the curse has no impact on the skills that they are, the stats that they care about, they haven't bothered to spend the money to get rid of them. Hey, Mike, we should, Mike, we should trade curses. <laughs> no, that would be bad. <laughs> Do you want my curse? I curse you for thinking that. <laughs> yeah, we have each other's curse. Burn. No. Yeah, okay. burn. That works. <laughs> That's a good chunk of money. Yeah. So those are the kinds of boat fights that you want to try to find. Yeah. And we can still fight the chaos camp. We're and still, the, yeah, okay. we're still fine to take on the chaos. Yeah, control. those early fights for extra gold. Really nice. So what are the the group of? I know you guys just said those boats, but are there any other good fights to do? Um, uh, so yeah, Merling ships, uh, Swak Buckler ships, Bandit ships. As long as the Bandit ship is not level five, um, you're not gonna see these in for the King mode. But if you did, I would also say Elite Monkey ships, uh, Elite Bird Warrior ships are also okay. Scamp, scamp ships. I actually made a so mistake yeah, pretty much, there. Pretty much, pretty much every single ship during the daytime at level three is good to fight. You pretty much don't want to fight nighttime ships like ghosts or race. Those are really bad. Okay. Oh, just enough. Oh, darn. <laughs> Can't touch this. I hopefully can finish that off. There. Yeah. Oh, now I can. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen one of those in a while. <laughs> yeah. Right when you don't right, care to get it. Right. See how much improved weapons help out so much getting through these fights much faster. Much faster, yeah. So the best offense... Or the best defense is a good offense. Almost. Well, the best offense is a good offense. It's still true. That is yeah. true. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> all, all true facts. 
And the best defense is a good defense. It's also true. All true stuff. <laughs> We're just dropping the knowledge on this podcast today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But now we have the Mind Lord and the Lich's Crypt still to do to do the I'm actually I'm actually kind of eyeing the Lich's Crypt as our next possible so go I want to just say that, you know, where they spawn, as far as what biome they appear in, is random. Sometimes you'll get the Mind Lord in the Burning Forest or on the islands. The best place to get the Lich's Crypt is probably in the bog or anywhere else anywhere else other than islands <laughs> anywhere else other than the islands because <laughs> the lich's crypt is a, a dungeon that will pull the party yeah but you know if it's on the island you're pretty much gonna have to sail right up next to it anyway so it's kind yeah. of a wait it's kind of a, kind of a waste, waste for it to appear in the islands unfortunately the best yeah. place for it to be would be the burning forest or the bog now the other thing i want to mention about the burning forest we actually approach the burning forest and the bog from the water's edge that is our main way of searching out that biome and so in our previous episode we actually were sailing around the bottom and running into the interior looking for things that is the best way to search zones you don't want to just uh trek through those biomes on land definitely not especially the <laughs> bog the bog is for the most part when the, uh if you have the burning force or bog, you, you usually can uh, explore the entire biome by doing little jaunts in and out of the biome through a boat. So you like you walk five hexes away from the boat in, into the middle of the biome and then pull out, and you and you just do that for the entire biome, and you end up exploring the entire biome sure. while being in boat pull range, which is really good. So, mage robe and mage shoes are in Fire Elm. I could do another burning ship fight here. I was gonna recommend that that boat fight and then. Oh, were you? Fire, okay. And then going into Fire Elm, yeah. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's we what I even saw. Look to see to maybe yeah. upgrade one of my weapon my weapon to next. Yes, yours is definitely next. Yeah, let's see if we can get that crab yet mm. before it gets a chance to one. act. One, you guys are welcome. <laughs> one. And I believe crabs also have the ability to destroy items. Yes, they can destroy your what you're wearing, which is really bad. So yeah. those are usually uh, recommended targets <laughs> in a group yeah. like this. God, crabs are horrible. Kill those first. Okay. <laughs> no, I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm one short. I know. I think it's not going to matter. I got him. I'm one short from a burn tick death, too. Oh, God. <laughs> See, look, <laughs> see? <laughs> one short. <yeah. laughs> like, burn! Like, yeah. Like, uh... At least he'll burn to death, guaranteed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dodge all you want, man. You're going to burn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, more gold. Uh, interesting. I'm going to temporarily use that. Does this give me a little bit of health regeneration? Uh, no. I don't know if anyone else wants that. Doubt it. I, yeah, I don't think anyone wants that. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you want to move really fast, Sheldon? Whoa. Okay, uh, give the money to Sheldon. He's now got enough to get into Fire Elm. If there's an improved weapon, plan. I will buy it. Please let there be something. I want to save like... enough money for me to pipe up and probably yeah. meditate. It's pretty rough. Ooh. Daddy, I'm going to give you a Scholar's Wart. Sure. All right, you know what? Let's... Screw that. I don't need that yet. Don't necessarily use it. All we need to do is, like, find one thing or kill one enemy and you instantly party uh level heal i mean we might have enough money for mike to pipe and meditate me that's what i'm hoping yeah if not you can sell something okay so um so we're, so, gonna, we're gonna wait here then um you could we could kill this merling soldier that's above us here there's, is there any reason to go right mike to the right to go to the right 
Uh, there's a sea cave. That's there's it. a Let's sea cave on. over there, and there's a cult device that we could. Because I, I was thinking he could end his turn here. Yeah, we that's good. CK. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, right there is good. Hey, let me give you the gold mic. Another oh, Merlin look, ship. another boat, another shaman ship. That's pretty nice. Good. Merlin uh, shamans that... have starfish staffs, so I'm happy. Yeah, with that. starfish staff could be really yeah. handy right here. <laughs> Okay, somebody asked me earlier, do we ever do these pop-up events? And almost always, uh, no. <laughs> they uh, often aren't going to be uh, of the right stat that matches up with your character's primary uh, best stat, so I usually avoid them. All right, piped up. Can you, can you meditate? And I can if I sell just a little bit here. So let me sell the short sword. I don't need that anymore. And the sh shield's kind of crap. And let me sell the... So in terms of the scourges... Fishing boots. Are you worried at all with it. this scourge coming up? Is there certain ones that you focus on that, that you try to find? That is, that's one of the scourges I can ignore. For the entire game because he, totally. he just gives black yeah. clouds all over the place right yeah right the only bad effect not counting clouds is you you can't your passives don't work in the overworld that's it so our entertain doesn't work anymore gather herbs wouldn't work refocus may not work either but i don't i don't recall yeah. if that's true or not okay um I just yeah. put on my Demos skull and lost all that max health. That was probably a mistake. <laughs> Actually, no, I gained that health, so I probably should have had that on when I when I went and used the inn earlier. Yes, if you yes. So, okay, so perfect timing. Daddy will level heal from this. Yeah, you're gonna level heal after the first combat, and then both Sheldon and I will be really really close to level healing on the second combat. Yuck. Okay, this is a pretty nasty group. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the wizard. The wizard yeah. crab, or I can do the most damage against the bone uh, mage. No, the bone the bone guy's gonna. We're not gonna I, kill him. I I should be able to one shot the bone mage because I have volcano hat. So that's um, true. He's an ice type, and you got 100 percent damage against ice. So yeah. The wizard crab. So let's let's go after the wizard crab. Yeah. So um, sea caves. Number one oh, question. Oh. oh. We're all immune to frost. That's interesting. Okay. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah. So, how many sea caves are there? And two, eight, how, how's this, how does this sea cave leveling work? Uh, in for the king mode, there's eight sea caves. They all start at level four, and they all level off of each other being completed. What I mean by that is, if you complete one wa one sea cave, all the others will scale one level. So, they all start at four. You do one. The rest will be five. You do one five. The rest will be six. And then if you do a six, all the other ones will remain six. So basically, you'll end up doing one level four C cave, one level five C cave, and, and six level six C caves. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You're targeting the bone mage, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Bye bye. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Deleted. Not... Deleted. Yeah. He should have not been ice. Big mistake. Yeah, his his <laughs> his mistake. Yeah. yeah. His mistake. Yeah. Don't be ice. <laughs> I even had an icy talisman on. I think too. Which is <laughs> even more okay. Hey, I finally have focus points. Yes, you do. <laughs> an extra fancy rough. Um, this is probably the same thing. So. I'll pass it if someone else wants it, but I'm sure you don't need it, Mike. No one wants this piece of crap. No, I don't think I do. <laughs> no. I'll just collect it. <clears throat> yeah, like, I don't want it. <laughs> just put, hey, it, um... put it in my crappy inventory. <laughs> I want to also say something here that I see a lot of people that are playing for the king where they have injured party members like this, where Sheldon's like half health and I'm kind of low that they party heal right here and the ne the next room that's ahead is a question mark room so we're not going to have a combat there unless it's a mimic that we get unlucky with 
but there's a good chance it could be a wishing well, or not a wishing well, a an old well that you could potentially get a heal from. So we always recommend not healing a character until you've at least investigated the question mark room and see if you can get a free heal off of it. Yeah. In this case, it's the potential mimic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Should I open it or pass? Yeah. Um, yeah, Sheldon has the ability to reset a single enemy with his fire staff. So even if it was a mimic, he could just. I'm also, that I'm also sort of hoping to die. So <laughs> to get rid of okay. them. Okay, <laughs> that's an even better one for you, Daddy. <laughs> Give that to Daddy. Uh, even better than he has on right now. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Give that over to you. Can I please nope. get a freaking okay. awareness drop? <laughs> and he, uh, yeah. Can please. You? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something. Oh yeah. He, he has no awareness. He has a crappy ass awareness weapon and no awareness gear. That's funny. <laughs> I'm just a guy running around. <laughs> A asking questions. That's pretty much all I'm doing. I can, uh, all right. I can, I can um, hurt the I, shaman. You could. Um... So none of these enemies are super threatening. They're all just annoying in their own way. So I don't yeah. particularly care who you go for first. Yeah, none of these none of these enemies are like like alarming. As they all yeah, attack me, that's why they're not alarming. They just, they just hurt a little bit. That's all. That's all they do. <laughs> as long as they keep attacking me, you don't care. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I guess I'll... I'm not going to be able to kill anything anyways. I was hoping for a called shot there. Holy cow. Yep, knew the disease attack was coming. Yeah. He, he didn't get it, though. Um, You know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw Hit some really hard. this guy. Yeah. That works. Maybe I can finish up the drowned corpse. Or drowned corpse. Yep, maybe. Use one focus and hope. Yep. Oh. Nope. <laughs> no! No, well, no, okay, I'm going to that. <laughs> Don't belt I'm, at me. I'm the only one immune to that. So well, that's good. Projectile vomiting at us. Yeah. yeah, you would think out of all the attacks they use, they would have at least tried to curse me. I find it funny. Uh, the rare, the rare, oh my god, that's good. Well, wow. maybe. It's a, uh, I don't know. I always have a hard time choosing between battle axe and dual hatchets. Actually. Yeah, it's like, it's, <laughs> it's four more damage. Yeah. And it has a power up attack. So does but, dual hatches though. And dual hatches, yeah, and dual hatches gives you ten percent crit chance and plus five speed. Yes, yeah, that's the thing. Is like I think I ended up. That is a really difficult choice. I know, uh, right? It's really hard to judge those two. Five roll I checks think I versus three roll checks. I think I ended up liking dual hatches a tiny bit better. Yeah, I, I almost kind of like the percentages I'm getting off of the roll checks yeah. of the dual hatchets. So I'm gonna yeah. collect it. Yeah. I also made the same evaluation like a week ago <laughs> so clearly when we end up doing like a, a weapons uh i know everyone's been clamoring to, for a weapons video so it's choices like that you're kind of splitting hairs right it just depends on what you prefer at that point it's not really a big deal which one well there are yeah. there are definitely certain weapons that are just obviously better yeah because of of like they're, they're just tier higher but then yeah. you're like getting weapons that are the same tier it's like oh uh, like <laughs> Especially when it comes to weapons that just do damage, it's yes. really hard to evaluate those. If you're evaluating two different weapons of the same tier, but they do different support moves, it's yes. easier to judge. It's easier to judge that, but just damage weapons, harder to judge. Hey, Pearl. Mm, whatever. Mm, I'll take that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use it. Uh, a lot of people strongly dislike weapons with high roll checks. How do you, how do we value low roll checks? I actually value a lot of roll checks over low checks, actually. I'm, I'm the odd one out. Ooh, does anyone want this? I might. So, it, okay. it, explain your reasoning there. Uh, so, the reason I like, uh, more checks than lower checks is I have a... 
I have a more I have more leeway in killing an enemy with a miss than I do with a lower weapon. For example, if I have a one check weapon, it's either all in or nothing. So and let's say I'm let's say I do 30 damage and the enemy has 20 health, and I'm using a one check weapon. I either get the kill or I don't get the kill. And if I have no focus, I have to I have to gamble it. If I have no focus with a with a five check weapon. I am more likely, I, I I could be wrong, but I feel like I, I am more likely to kill the enemy with a with a miss, because if I miss on the one check, I'm screwed. If yeah. I miss one check on a, if I miss one check on a five check, I could still technically kill the enemy. Okay. Uh... Not to mention, not to mention uh, a lot of the five check weapons are, it's because they do a lot of damage. And if you get a crit, then the entire roll is perfect anyways. So I might as well try to get a crit super power attack than a crit one check dagger you know <laughs> okay so before All i'm right. gonna actually ask one more question to that i think mike wants to say something but let me ask just to keep this moving on where should i go next okay so that's what i was gonna answer um sheldon is at half health he does have a scholar's wart but you're also relatively low health so am i it's probably best for us to go back to fire elm but on the way there, I think what we should do is have you stop at the uh, port and heal our boat. Oh, right here? <clears throat> yes. Uh, especially if we want to go searching for other sea caves, we don't want to risk uh, sinking to a kraken. Right. So get a boat repair kit. Um, oh, no. Can you just you can just repair the boat straight Services. up? Services. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's a really good question, physics, because a low check weapons are definitely better if you have focus. But if you don't have focus, I actually kind of prefer the four or five check weapons so when I have no focus. Let me ask you. So I, I do want to do a follow up to that because it, it is a great question by physics. Uh, the but the other aspect to it is the perfect role, um, like abilities that are attached to a weapon it's much harder to hit those because you know it's you you get five rolls to get the perfect ability you don't it's much more difficult to do that than a single roll or a double roll that's half true because okay. we're, we're, so um a lot of the five check skills are not necessarily support skills most of the five check weapons for example mike's battle axe and dual hatchets it's five check skill it's just damage that's all it's doing is damage. And you're still gonna do damage even if you don't perfect. Compared to something like Volcanic Tome, that's that's a big difference. Because if you're trying to use a support move that's a five check, then yeah, you kind of need focus for that. Okay. But you don't necessarily need focus on a five check if the five check is just damage. Okay. Yeah. Because a four, uh, four checks on a heavy attack does more damage than a perfect normal attack. And a and missing two checks on a power up is like two damage less than a perfect normal attack. So, more often than not, using a heavy attack is just flat out better than nor than doing a normal attack, with the exception of try of enemies that have to be perfect hit, of course. By the way, that's the one thing that that's a disadvantage about five check weapons. It's hitting a perfect effect enemy with a five check weapon is very hard. Yeah, but <laughs> that's that's it. That's like the one exception. Sure. Well, there's always going to be exceptions yeah. to this. That's why the question right, is yeah. asked because yeah. what's the pluses in my you're, you're looking at the pros and cons and you yeah. uh, you think there's a lot more pros than there are cons to multiple multiple check or higher checked weapons uh, for yeah. four or five range. Yeah, it's like it's harder to get a like it's harder to perfect the five check. Like, yeah, but like how valuable is getting the perfect on the five check, you know, on a on a weapon like that sure. like you have crit chance you have crit chance to help you you still do a lot of damage even if you miss one or two checks um okay i might be missing one other point but so what's going on mike i want to know if sheldon wants maze shoes uh oh uh, yes yes i do you do want me shoes? yeah so, you know, it's only one tier higher than the apprentice shoes he currently has, but uh, when you're yep. working so, with a, an intelligence support character, we actually prefer yes. that additional intelligence. Yes, that's the reason. Uh, if I didn't plan on doing support, I probably wouldn't give a crap about made shoes. But because I'm playing for the king mode, I am pretty much 100% expecting a full in the future. 
So I need every little intelligence I can get to make sure I can use Volcanic Tome. Okay. Um, let's see, four, three. Let me give you your shoes before you walk away. Oh, interesting. I can be a little bit greedy here. So here's an interesting thing I'm looking at. I can actually do a random fight now and not give a crap if I die. <laughs> if I die, yay. If I don't die, yay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You can get the Grand Sanctum of Blood. Yes. And if I don't die, then I just end. See, if you don't die, you'll probably level Oh heal. my lord. Kill that dude. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> if you don't die, you'll probably level heal, by the way. Oh yeah. Yeah, good point. You know some people simply won't touch a five check weapon? I've seen that. Like, I see a lot of people like blacksmiths running daggers because it's like really easy to perfect but like, its damage is so crap like they'd rather use a sturdy dagger over like a freaking 30 damage greatsword i'm like what are you thinking like holy crap <laughs> <laughs> can i one shot this yes see that's why i love five checks so easy cold shot no yeah <laughs> so dream on Dream on. <laughs> Come on, you're, I can you're making I can me feel bad. I can scholars warp that. Okay. Now we get to multiply the gold they stole. Not a whole five. lot of multiplication, Plus five but it's cool. a little bit. Yeah. All right, let me take a look at Devil's Warp real quick. I've been looking, there is like zero awareness weapons everywhere. It's unbelievable. There's nothing. Like, I'm just gonna sit with this until we finish the game. God, if you were a trapper, you would be fine because there's a rainbow. No, actually, but... are there any speed weapons anywhere? I No, there's not. There's I've been nothing. looking for that too. There's, there's nothing. nothing. <laughs> He's right, there's nothing. It's crazy. Okay. Well. <laughs> Um, I guarantee you, you're gonna get something when the lore store store comes around. That's a guaranteed razor. Yes. Yep. <laughs> at the very least. And, and we're also gonna have a chance at the night markets before that even. So. Okay. You, don't worry. We'll take care of you. <laughs> it just, I can just then just keep asking questions and not worrying about focusing on fighting because I'm irrelevant in the game right now. <laughs> I'm okay, Mike. I don't know if you agree or not, but I'm just thinking. Just do another random fight, heal at Devil's Wharf, maybe do a, another seek. Oh wait, that's a level 6 CK. Actually, we could do a level 6 CK yeah. at our level. Well, there's and also got... a, Mer there's a Merling soldier ship over there. I'd rather do that. No, I, I'm, I'm definitely agreeing that first, not okay. this first, no. I was seeing uh, Merling ship, then Devil's Wharf to heal, then potentially either Seek Cave or Lich's Crypt. I'd rather do Lich's Crypt. Yeah, yeah. okay. I figured you would have, but I wanted to... Uh, discuss it with you i didn't care either way but what is this uh quartermaster ship that's that's what they're called don't do quartermaster ships they're so bad. the sea cave <laughs> is level six the lich's crypt is level five i always prefer doing the lower uh makes no, the, it, the lower it, level it dungeon first makes a lot of sense it's safer it's just safer in general it's just safer no it's no yeah. it's a, it makes sense yeah all right, I'm gonna get close. I'm hoping for a Merlin. Uh, I could Starfish start now. this fight now, but might as well. You're gonna level heal. I'm just looking at Daddy's current. Or you all? Or you'll just okay. use that. Folk. Yeah, he'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter. I really don't see Daddy dying here. He has a lot of. Even he if actually, he takes a little bit more damage, it won't be enough. Daddy actually him. has some pretty good armor resistance, to be honest. Like he's should be okay. Another crab. They can't even hurt us. I do have enough to kill that crab if I can get a good shot. Nice. That allows me to finally kill this stupid thing with burning. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> It'd be nice if there was like a utility other than evade attached to this bow too. Like I could at least like do something else other than miss my shot. That's why I don't like awareness weapons because their support skills are just garbo. I'm telling you, trapper. 
Trapper's a big difference because the, can... the talent trapper, yeah, yeah, the I think talent, talent trapper is the new meta for sure. Talent trapper's really good. It makes it made sense that me and Mike didn't even notice that because we already ha we already had a meta team before that. Yeah. We already had a yeah. Well, we didn't consider sense. the talent trapper no. at the time because the the gladiator didn't exist, and the gladiator kind of made the trapper worthwhile for early starting weapons that are powerful. Yes. Right. Not to mention, you can now run speed, 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 and so, and intelligence, talent, strength on the same team. Which Sheldon, so broken. a question mark just appeared in the water to the left. Are you at all curious? Oh, I'm so excited. I am ecstatic. I can't believe I passed that up. Oh, <laughs> that that question mark is so lonely. Yeah, well, I, I, I feel I, so bad. I, I For the listeners, I want to make sure I sense sarcasm in your guys' voices. Sarcasm. Yeah, dripping okay. with sarcasm. Okay. <laughs> do you ever remove scourges with a cult device? Uh, yes, if we it's do. Just, if it's really, really bad. Yes, we do. Uh, yes, I do. Yes. That's another I, reason. It's another reason we save them if we don't need to use them. I definitely do that. Like I sometimes purposely let the royal jewel activate and then just kill them with a cult device because I don't want to deal with them. Yeah, the thing is, if you if you remove <laughs> if you remove a scourge with a cult device before the scourge is activated, you're actually not killing them. You're just resetting them, and they can respawn again on your timeline. If you want to actually fully kill them, you have to let them activate first. And then use the cult device to destroy them. Yeah, that's, then, the, then that's, they're permanently destroyed. That's something people don't know. If you just if you use a cult device to get rid of a scourge before they activate, they'll come again later on in the game. You'll just push them back. But if you do it when they're active, like Mike said, you actually kill them, kill them. But the only really nice. the only drawback about killing them straight up is that you don't get the drop that they would give you. So that's, you don't get yeah, the special you, hat typically. But the real drill hat is so shit. Anyways, I really don't care. Do you have enough money to in, or are you like? Short uh, I'm gonna just sell old? one crappy thing. Oh, okay. yeah, that should do yeah. it. <laughs> My good old leather helm. Yeah, I, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's definitely something people don't know, for sure. And and we, it would be it, and that's something that's hard to learn because you would have to, first of all, do remove a scourge with a cult device, and then also later on in the future do it with one active and you would have to pay attention and notice that it killed it for all that to line up it's very rare for people to know that so i don't okay i think all. i'm willing to go after that uh, lich's crypt now yeah i am too maybe i'll drop a freaking okay hold on a second weapon for daddio sheldon i'm going to give you sheldon i'm going well, to well, give well, you well. a carnival ticket okay i think i was already holding some because I'm yeah. going to entertain at the carnival, and I don't want to activate it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That would be very yeah. bad for me to activate it with 50 uh, luck. That'd 50 be really luck, bad. yeah, it would be really bad. Is there any... Oh, is there okay, any pearl diving. That's pearl diving, something I like. Pearl diving is an event we will always attempt to do if we see it, because that's a free pearl. And you should always use focus on that. Oh, I got baited. <laughs> Baited. Look at that. I fell for the trap again. The same Aww. Kraken, the Kraken trap. came to play. Yeah. Oh my god. So, okay, the so Kraken what, just Kraken just wants to play. What do you guys want to do here? Do we actually go Kill and, the head. Kill no, the head. No, we have enough damage we have enough damage output to kill this thing. I kill think. the head. Okay. Sheldon can actually reset tentacles to keep the damage to the boat uh, at a minimum. There and I'm go. gonna have glory, so <laughs> Why the hell not? Yeah. <laughs> that must have been a bleed attack because it was not a five. It was a bleed attack. I was trying to get the bleed off. That's why I put two okay. focus into it. It just I got unlucky. I was, I didn't recognize the attack. Uh yeah. So yeah. yeah if I can get this thing bleeding, it'll just speed up the process. Oh actually, he's bleeding me. No, he's not. He's not bleeding. Okay. What is this? Let me try one more time here to get that. There we go. I gotta just keep these guys. Yeah, reset, tentacles. reset tentacles. Oh wait, yeah, those <laughs> reset tentacles. Yeah, <laughs> that'll keep that'll keep the boat safe. Why are you surprised? Mike is right. We 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 can definitely kill the kraken because we have a reset on a tentacle, which basically gives us 50% more time to kill the, the kraken because 
only one tentacle is going to be damaging the boat, not two. So mm -hmm. we actually are we actually are gaining time by like fifty percent. You probably don't. Yeah, you probably don't know the damage you need. Compared Tony, continue, to the time. Just need. continue to reset the tentacle on the right. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I'm just talking to the chat. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no, I definitely agree with Mike. I was pretty safe about killing the Kraken here because uh, we had what it takes to kill it, even without um, boat repair kits. Aww. Same thing with Thurbo. If you, if you go into a Kraken fight with a Thurbo, you pretty much have a 100% chance of killing it. I'm going to do next to nothing. Uh... No, you're just going to do oh, next good. to nothing. Oh, good. Good. I'm the best you're person You're just going to be entangle. a spectator for a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sheldon, you can go I ahead and start him burning. Well, no, we he can't burn. We can, we can kill it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah we can kill it. Yeah, yeah, it's dead now. Let's Nicely see. done. Uh, let me risk this. There we go. Got it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Okay. That's just a free pearl. That's all that is. That's a free pearl. So yeah, uh, physics. Anytime My... you reset oh, or I. I kid you not, I tried to hit pass. I am not kidding you. I clicked it too fast. That's all right. No worries. <laughs> did, you, did you use it? Yeah, he, he used yeah, it. Yeah, I used it. <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine. Not the end of the world. Yeah. And I, now we're going to get another pearl from this pearl. Actually, hmm, we probably need some uh, more focus. I, I guess we I might, might, as well, might as well use a golden root to get a pearl. It's, well, I'm thinking we'll let... We'll or Devil's Wharf. We could just yeah. meditate at Devil's Warp and then go. It will it. I'm pretty sure it'll disappear at night time. Oh yeah, I don't want to risk it disappearing. We'll be okay. No, just... we'll, we'll be okay. Just now, at shush. All right. Shush. All right. Make. <laughs> all right. Don't let me see. derail the podcast. Oh no, you're not. You're not derailing the podcast at all. So, am I passing over gold to Sheldon so he uh, can? I would say meditate yourself. Okay. In fact, we can all we can we, all meditate. Oh, we can all meditate, actually. Yeah. I think. If it does disappear, Mike, then you were right, but it's okay. Better not disappear. I don't know. Sometimes the weather changes just before night. Oh yeah, if the weather change it would probably go away. Right. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen. We'll see what happens. So I was gonna ask a question about the carnival. Um, I don't know if we asked this in you the know what? beginning of this. But... Yeah, I do it. I know what you're thinking. Do it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? I got yeah. decent awareness. Yeah. But... Uh huh. So uh -huh. you tried to shot. avoid the the round change is what you're doing right yeah, there. Yeah, Mike wanted the Mike was not going to risk the round change and have it disappear possibly. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we I go. I agree with that. That allows me to in, which is nice. I'm as just fun 100 that. Yeah, don't gamble that. Yeah. <laughs> Way Definitely worth not it. something you want to gamble. <laughs> and then I can meditate and in. Well, not well. Maybe. Yeah. How much is it to do both? Oh, I could probably do both. Um. You need stuff to sell. I got garbage. I have. I'm fine. Is there anything else here that's? Okay, now we can do the script. Okay. So for those of you that don't know, you can uh, meditate. Does not take up your turn and gives you full focus and then you can in after that to which will then cost your turn so if you want to if you have a lot of focus points you meditate first and then you in right afterwards wow really crappy rolls i know right okay so the uh scourge is, is going to activate and it's is one that produces clouds i believe mm -hmm. yep. uh basically it just causes permanent rain and it's yeah. annoying, but not doesn't really affect gameplay so much. No, not really. Yeah, maybe he'd be over there. You actually know where he is? Hold on. Him. Yeah, he's picture. in the burning forest. I knew he'd be in there because that was the one oh. place we hadn't found the scourge yet. 
In fact, we haven't found the, the alluring pool over there too, and you do have a vision scroll. So we could actually vision scroll the burning forest area around that, uh, that guy if we ever wanted to go over there and try to nail him. We've also not even been in that town either. That's true. True. We have not been in that town at all. Chaos, go away. <laughs> Hello, thief. We like thieves. Thieves give you lots of gold when you kill yes, them. They, yes, they do. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, so weak. Hit the thief. Hit the thief. Okay. Yeah, you're you're pitifully weak. Oh my goodness. It's bad. Yeah, we even hit twenty, and we hit thirty already. <laughs> I can't believe, like, I know we're, we're talking about awareness is kind of weak and we think the Trapper Talon is a better, but usually it's not this bad. It's not that well. You are losing a long bow. You should be using a great bow at the very least, which will get your damage to 23. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Just die. Well, maybe you can kill the ghoul for us. Make yourself use. Kill, still kill the ghoul first. Okay. Yeah. Nice. The thief is mine. Or oh, I guess not. Oh boy. The thief is mine. Yeah. Yeah, they can't dodge <laughs> twice in a row. No. Nope. <laughs> no, they can't. There's no point in me even actually trying to focus this. Because yeah, no, just I can't even just kill it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right. Good observation, by the way, because your damage output there is irrelevant. It, it is. He might have gotten a called shot, which could have killed him. That, that was the only... But there's, no reason, but there's no reason for him to focus, is my point. Right. Because a right, called right, shot right. wouldn't happen. The, it, the, right. Yeah. A called shot doesn't happen with focus, anyways. That's maybe a tip with the... Well, it depends on how you want to play it, but the hunter does not get called shot if you use any focus in the attack. Right. Called shot does combine well with crit chance, so if you have, like... Basically, using a bow with a heavy attack with high crit chance is probably the best build you can do for a hunter because all that like works together. I don't know if you have a heavy attack with your bow or not. But I do. I don't. Again, do. it's so weak right now, and I'm at like 50, I know. 49 percent, 50 percent for each. <laughs> it, it's really tough. I'm yeah, trying. You, to and your crit. You probably have no crit chance too. <laughs> all right, we have enough to t kill something here. I think. What is our 40. Creature? I could kill C. We egg. could kill we could kill the rattler between Daddio and myself. Yes. That would get rid of the bleed. Oh. Now you can swing as one no, I kill? Can... Pretty sure I can just I don't kill think him. so. Yeah, you have the perfect I think. Yep. Not quite. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Ow. Get out of here. All right, finish off the snake for us, Daddy. Let's hope so. There we go. And then you can kill that skelly. Nice. And avoid the bleed tick. Good. So ultimately, are you probably going to use... I'll try not to steal someone else's stuff. Don't eat that. I swear to you, I thought <laughs> I was... I did not mean to. I actually knew to pass it, and I just... I don't know what I was doing. Hey, all right. Can we not get a mimic, please? That would be nice. Nope, it's a mimic. <laughs> I got... I get a lot of it. Ooh. Her oh, good. That's and a, rum. Okay. That's, a, that's okay, yeah. Better than the <laughs> pearls or the god's beards. Yeah, I was about to say, like, that's fine. <laughs> oh, what a pain this thing is. I know, this thing is so annoying. Oh, I can like, it. Burn, I can it. burn. I can burn kill it. Hold on. Oh, okay. Damn it. Yeah, I could have killed it there if I just got it. It was worth a shot. Yeah. Come on, give me a call shot. Even though it's <laughs> irrelevant, but come on, make me feel better. 
Thank you. Uh, old multiplier. Yeah. Ooh. Go ahead and put that on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know it's not as much armor and resistance, but still. We could use it gives them more, uh, the pirate coat gives them more evade, which is fine for a hunter. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather get the extra evasion and gold multiplier since I keep collecting the gold anyways. I don't think I needed to pouch this. I was wondering if you were going to or not. I was considering it, but I decided not to. I guess that's, decided against that's it. That's for Mike, right, right? Yes. Come on, Mike. Don't whiff it. Do not whiff it. You don't want me to whiff this? Don't whiff it. All right, hold on. Let me min. Well, let me min max. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, if I even took Daddio's stuff, but don't even worry about it. No. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of health. That's what he gets <laughs> for putting the helmet on. Yeah, know, that's right? what you get. Didn't what get you it. get? <laughs> Didn't get it at all. <clears throat> okay. Not going to do much damage there. I can lower the... Wraith. We can kill. We can kill the wraith. Yeah, I don't like wraiths because they can curse you. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. no, that's perfect damage there. Owie. Come on, get the roll. Get the roll. There we go. Nice. Get out of here, stupid scarab. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Called shot. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should just use one of the Attack. intel weapons at this point. Take a chance oh God, with a 46 no. roll. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I think not. All right, here's where my door bashing pickaxe could come help. Help yes. here. Oh, your, hell, your battle axe does the same thing. Eh, same deal. So just deal. just as like a, a lesson here, um, I would see a lot of people that would you would probably heal up before you do this. Are you healing up here, Sheldon? To Yes. Okay. He waited gonna... until I bashed the door to see how much damage I was going to take before he healed me. Okay. Right. I'm going to party <laughs> heal after the door bash. Still don't have high level two, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> Uh, is this rum I have? What is this? Okay, let's see. Why We're am I holding this? Against... Hold on. I don't want to be holding that. That's that's for Mike, not me. Okay. <laughs> Do you also think we need to pipe up again before we get into the King's Maze? Yes. Got yeah, on. for sure. At least two and everybody. Hmm. Yes, please hit a bone warrior. Nice. Wanted to at least get a big hit at some point. Okay. That's an unfortunate one. Get rid yeah. of that. <laughs> I go away, ass. Alright. Get the shoe off. Nice. Come on, evade. Bad roll. Oh my gosh, if I get insanely lucky. Uh, yeah. Insanely uh, lucky. Get a crit. <sighs> nope. nope. <laughs> Not going to happen. Oh, man. Now I feel dumb for doing. Yes, kill me. Yeah, he wants to die. He kill doesn't me. want his sanctum. Kill me. All right. Now you will finish him. Kill me! Yes! No! <laughs> you have to leave you with some health. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, that was the wrong attack, sorry. That's okay. I really felt like trying to do a Veda up on you. But you I was trying to give him more time for him to kill you. There he Six goes. Victory! He did it! <laughs> yes, we wanted to die. Victory! So odd. See, the thing is, guys, they play this game so well that they actually hope <laughs> for death at some point. 
It's ridiculous. Yep. Like, come on, kill me. <laughs> Cause I gain an advantage when dying. That's that's what's ludicrous. <laughs> Suicidal. <laughs> There's our boat repair kit. Cap it late. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay. That's uh on par with the staff he currently it, has. It's literally on par. It's yeah. like, it's practically the same thing. Although sometimes yeah. the frost, because it if you get something frosty, it does you can do more damage to it. From it's been, yeah, apologize. it's either frost or reset. I yeah. think I kind of like the reset potential. I got that staff in a current game I'm playing, like right <laughs> at the beginning of going into uh, the Golden Plains, and it's ridiculous. It's such a good staff to get that okay. early yeah very good yeah we need healing mike i do need healing but we also have night markets about to open so i'm going to i'm going to anticipate a night market it's going to have something nice and juicy for us we can always check we can always just shift click them all that's true where's devil's wharf at there it's down there uh all right i'm gonna move over here A fountain of life. Fountain of life. You should go ahead and get that fountain of life, Sheldon. That way, uh, when you restore all your focus from the sanctum, it ain't gonna matter. I'm going to fail it. Oh yeah, it's a fight. That's true. It's gonna be your fu yeah, it's No. No. Okay. I know you hate when I don't do those, but there's a reason I don't do those. Oh my god, what is this? Ship damage. Okay. There we we don't need a life. We're not gonna die. Hey, right? wait, we haven't we haven't checked the night markets. Hold on a second. Stop moving. <laughs> I want to see what where my iron anchor is, man. It's got to be out there. So, where are we going to here now at this? I point? don't know yet. We're we're looking at night markets. Crown. Well, yeah. those Lich, Lich's crown and the one in Parid. I mean, the Golden Plains. And... Ah, Declan's bow in there too. Declan's bow inside of that one, okay. Yeah, Daddy, I would really like that. There's another Lich's, oh, Iron Anchor and Lich's Crown in the Burning Forest Night Market. Really? Where is that at? Oh, it's way over there, Jesus. But if you use your uh, vision scroll, we might be able to find the Alluring Pool in that biome and be able to get over there much easier. Okay, well, so, Daddio, go ahead and just go. I'm thinking head we toward, need to head toward Fire Elm. No, no. Why Hold not? On. We can heal because, there. Because Daddio absolutely needs a, a weapon improvement. A hundred percent. And where are you going to get that? Right, right here. My right, always watches Night Market. Okay, fine. Yeah, he needs it. Unfortunately, he just does. Then we can go over there. Sorry for ruining the game for you guys. You gotta go no. out of your way just for me. No. Well, we... <laughs> well, we kind of had to there. You right. know, your weapon's so bad. I am going to try the uh, vision scroll and see if I can find the alluring pool for that. That would, that would save us a little bit of time. Yeah, let's see here. I need to cover that zone and that there. And up one. That's pretty good. There it there is. There it is. Okay. So we it's could use not that. Actually, it's not actually as good as we thought, though, but... To get to the night market, yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> it's not... No way, to get our, no way to get through the woods there without teleportation, nope. so that sucks. That's yeah, a terrible that spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's about you know, as the alluring, bad as it The alluring pool in the Guardian Forest is almost easier. <laughs> they should have just put it in the water. We could just kill that cut purse camp and then walk down there. Oh. That's a brutal Wait, spot. The alluring oh, the, pool and the guardian oh, forest. The guardian forest one is easier. You're right. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. Okay. That's what I saw anyway. That's that's yeah. Oh, no, you're right. It's actually easier to do that one. Oddly enough. What was in this one again? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, not much.
Yeah, I kind of want to kill that uh, disciple too when we're over there. Yeah, we might as well once we're over there. The, Goodness. The rain is causing our movement yeah. to be nerfed slightly. Yeah, slightly. Yeah. Okay, this a is lot. pretty brutal. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Uh, step yeah. out. Uh, step out next to the cube and end your turn there. Okay. Any particular Thank reason you. as to why? Uh, yeah, hundred percent ambush you're, immunity. You're the healthiest, and if you had gotten ambushed, it would be better you to be well, ambushed. Yeah, Mike, than me. Mike, Mike cannot get ambushed when stepping off. Well, yeah, I can't get yeah. I can't get ambushed if you're sitting there. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I can step out freely. Yeah, yeah. But so by the way, um, there seems to be a higher percentage chance of getting ambushed when you're stepping onto land from a boat. It's almost like the game is like checking every round. Uh, should I ambush you this round? And if the answer is no, then like increases the percentage chance to ambush you the next round. And it just keeps multiplying that as you go. And it can't ambush you while you're sailing. So it's almost like the, uh, the counter is increasing and increasing and increasing. Like, I really, really, really need to ambush you. And I can't until you finally step on land. It's like, finally, I can ambush you. And so it happens all the time. It does happen all the time. Even though, I, even though me and Mike don't have 100% proof that we are correct on that, I will dare say that Mike is correct on that. All right, Declan's <laughs> bow. Boom. The amount of times that happens is just absurd. Lich's crown. Boom. And his, and his logic reasoning makes sense. It makes sense why it would be that way. Uh, we need more money for your freaking anchor now. Yes, we do. So pull me in. Pull us all in. Lich. Yeah, give me give the the bow to Daddy O. Damn, Daddy O's damage will just skyrocket now. Right. Nice. He's gonna be happy once he has that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Way, way better. There, there we go. Hey. And this crown is super good. There we look I'm at that. I'm actually okay. in the fight now. Okay, yeah. let's go for the alluring pool. Alluring pool to the guardian forest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Well, I don't know. You're not healthy yet, but. Uh, actually, you got a a, a scholar yeah, would, would probably yeah, would, would, would do it for you. Yeah, we'll yeah we'll be okay. So I'm going into the luring pool to go where? Yes, now? indeed. Yes, you're going into the luring pool to the guardian forest. Yep. Okay. And then just wait for me to join you. Just step down one. And give Sheldon give Sheldon your uh, scholar's wart. I might be able to level with it, maybe. Shoot. Can I actually give it to him through this? Yeah, you can give it to me. Oh, you're on the other. Oh, my gosh. Can I? I'm going to edit that out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I thought you were on the boat. <laughs> I was like, how the am cup, I? <laughs> yeah, this, the, the cupper's camp is a guaranteed 30 gold. Yeah, I have like to wait for Sheldon to end it, his turn before we attack, so I'm going to have to end mine. These are level one cutbrushes that can't kill me. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got enough armor. They well, they get pierced, me. but they ain't going to do 25 Imagine, damage. Imagine our max health at level zero is 30, and we can do it at level zero, so I'm fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he ain't worried. I'm not worried. We're fine. Yeah. Uh, can you actually splash them all to death? I don't I, think so. I don't think he can. No. He can no just okay. one shot one though. Just, yeah. yeah. Just one shot one then. I almost doubled it. It feels good. Like, uh, uh, obliterated. So you guys give me a really Portal good bow scroll. to then fight level one enemies. So it feels really good. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> now, now you feel overpowered, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make him feel better. Give him an OP weapon and have him kill level one enemies. Make him feel good. Just run around the guardian <laughs> forest. <laughs> Confidence booster. See, thirty gold. Okay, that should be enough money. To yeah, I can go to. Well, shit. We still need iron. Like, actually, how much is the iron anchor at? Worth the iron anchor. Okay, we have enough money. We have enough money. Yeah, 53. Really I'll cheap. Ah, uh, yeah, really cheap. Really, really cheap. Do I want to... No, um, let me put the money together just in case. <laughs> so just, yeah, okay. just so you guys are aware, I do have a hard stop in about 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. 
Tinder pouch. Abandoned village. Can I have your scholar's work, Mike? Yes. I guess the other one wasn't enough. Well, I didn't eat it because it wasn't enough on purpose, but... Oh, okay. Abandoned village. Why do you like that one? It's because a free tinder pouch. It's a guaranteed tinder pouch if you pass. Okay. Yeah. Any downside to that one? Not I, well. Not no, really. I don't think so. I don't think there but is any. You just you just miss it. Yeah. It's like embedded blade. If you fail embedded blade, you just miss it. Yeah. Definitely one I like. Yeah. Step forward even again. Oh. Oh, you could buy the the iron anchor for me. Awesome. <laughs> there we go now <laughs> you guys talk a lot about this weapon do you yes, use, we do you guys use it all the way through the end of the game correct oh yeah yes we use iron anchor the entire game it is an end game weapon that yep. you get so early and there's just nothing that's any better than that really no there's not I mean, there's there's some that try to be comparable, but they just not. <laughs> All right, let me have my weapon. I would appreciate <laughs> that. No. It would have been really awkward if I accidentally sold it. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Fine, I'll that, sold it. Oops. Yes. Okay. Step out All right left. now, I do want to continue heading towards the Temple of Darkness. Let's go to Dryad's Lantern. That's in the, it's in the same path. Okay. Well, then we'll come up here. Uh, yeah, Obsidian Blades is almost as good. It's only Obsidian Blades is only better than Iron Anchor for just speed. Really, that's the only thing. All right, Daddy, go ahead and fight the crack for us. Do we want to ambush him or no? Never. No, no. It's, so he, it's because it's raining at night. He's not gonna pull that enemy. Oh, that's right. That's right. I didn't realize it was the rain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here, he's got frost and I should have put my hat. I should have put my volcano hat on. Oh, well. Yeah. Shall, yeah. Well. That's I didn't true. Think of, he is a frosty. Think, I didn't think of it. It's okay. I can't think of everything. Any chance you could reset him? No, but... No, okay, but we could try to just finish him off. I have no well, focus. not a quite... To I was trying to gamble power up. It's all right. Someone's going to get hit. You can try gamble speed down. Got it. Nice. This is why I love Iron Anchor. The, <laughs> the, uh, the speed down attack on the Iron Anchor is a really, really a powerful speed down. It's, it's a crippling attack. And it moves enemies really far back on the timeline. It's crazy. That could be extremely handy. Uh, I don't care for that. Mm. Oh. Nah. <laughs> More gold multiplier. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we need that right now. I think that's another thing for people to pay attention to. We've got eight God's beards in total. Should I just spend a turn and uh, uh eight no. god's beards in total? No. What do you mean? I, I, I need that I need sorry, that gold on each person. Oh. I need that gold, so don't spend it. Yeah. <laughs> we may need that we may need to use that lantern's chaos quest to get rid of chaos, because the chaos is actually pretty close. <laughs> Alright, so now let me have that money so I can use this in here. Yep. Whoops. And this will be good to show everyone when you... Or not do the quest. That's fine to do. Oh, yeah. You didn't unlock the quest. No, he didn't. I could or do it can... on my next turn. You can do it on his next turn. I'm just going to step on the Temple of Darkness. Nope. Don't care. Hang out right there. So I'm just going to sit here. No, no, you need to step forward onto the Temple of Darkness as well. We don't, we don't want to have the uh, combat support range become an issue at all. Okay. Just to be safe. All right now we can take on 
that sucker. Quest. Oh, right, right, right. Before I do that. <laughs> Quest. Okay, uh, nose to Sapphire Sword. Let's do Reduce Chaos. Yep. Okay. Really fairly nearby. Okay. It is considering the chaos is that. coming up, that's not bad. Yeah, probably that's next after this scourge. By the oh, way, this, partic this particular scourge, the Disciple, if you encounter this scourge early in the game, it can actually destroy your team. It's yeah. fairly dangerous. It is actually pretty dangerous. Ooh. Mike, um, should he just, should Daddy just, never mind. Okay. Okay, he's gonna dodge me. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> But will he dodge me? No, it's impossible. Yeah, he yeah, can't, right? can't dodge can't twice. Can't dodge twice in a row. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, yeah. I'm pretty confident about that. They can't dodge twice in a row. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now. Yes, true. Shock is another reason why having five check weapons well, having a weapon that's not a one-check weapon, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the more All checks right. you have, the, yeah. So, yeah, no, you're right. You're, right. you're actually right, uh, Physics. Five more so, checks is better for Shock. Sheldon, we actually have one extra Tinder Pouch than we need. Yes. Potentially. Well, actually, we still need to kill the Mine Lord in the Golden Plains. We have enough money to just in everybody at Dryer's Lantern. So I'm going to actually go to Parid to heal. We have to kill this crag. Okay, well, if we're going to kill another crag, let me actually put this on this time. Yeah, put on your volcano hat. Let's kill yeah, the let's, crag. Let's not forget and, this uh, time. Hold on, before you attack, mm -hmm. I think I also have a Icy Talisman I could put on. There we go. Perfect. Hey, Daniel, can I have... Uh, the, oh, what, how much is it? Like, tw Can I have 22 gold? Or all the gold, I don't care. Yeah, I was just gonna... Yeah. Yeah, I know it's easy for you. <laughs> I'm not playing on PlayStation right now. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit easier with the computer. <laughs> okay, so he's still immune to everything that I do. Yeah. Just no beating problem. him up. Yep. <laughs> no oh, nice. So even though Sheldon is our party healer, uh, we still spread out God's spirits evenly across all characters. Never put all your eggs in one basket. Never put all your God's spirit on your party healer. Right. So you're going. Got max focus. That was nice. So you're going to Parid? Yeah, we're gonna go to Parid to heal. We're gonna have to fight the chaos camp with a chaos active for a brief moment, but that's okay. Not a huge deal. Actually, you don't think we can take it on with our health we have right now? Mm, no, we're no. not in range anyways. No. no, not a level six one. Level six is way too dangerous. I'd rather fight it at full health with the chaos active than fight it now with the health we have, to be honest. All right. Because their damage doesn't increase, just their health. I don't necessarily need to heal right now. You're fine, Mike. Yeah. Do you, do you want do you want to fight it without the? Do you want to fight it right now? Or, I think we can handle it with the weapons that we have. All right, I'm not confident, but okay, let's see. You do have a uh, uh, shattered mirror to protect yourself. But are, I do. But is he in range? Is Sheldon in no. range? No. No. But I can start. I can start the fight because you're in range, Daddy. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, we'll, we'll go ahead and do it then. All right. So then it's just a matter of where I want to end my turn at, or I could actually start the combat with my last focus. No, I'm not in range. The more I'm at, though. Oh, you're right. Right. 
So do you do you think I should actually um, go to Dryer's Lantern and entertain there? It's oh, well, no, the rain the rain's still going, so it ain't gonna matter. Uh, just come with, just just be near us. If yeah. you want, just end your turn like here or something. Let me loot here. One of my least favorite loots, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can be too. No, it's still raining. Let me let me actually. It, it's there. it's nighttime while raining. That uh, yeah. Morning while raining doesn't do anything. Now it should clear up. Everything should clear up. Yep. Rain stops. Daytime. Oh, time. because of the scourge death. Okay. Yeah. I just better not get. All right, I'll go ahead and mirror. Yeah, use the mirror. If that stupid mage ends up doing random crap to me I and mean, we die from it I'm gonna mad. panic this yeah go ahead and then all right hit the mage so if you guys notice now how much more powerful these guys are yeah they're really ugh, really do bad I can't do ignite or anything to them, you so. yeah no Okay, now you can put it on. There you go. I really need you two to kill that mage. <laughs> so I should probably God's Beard here. To make um, sure I Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think... I think you don't necessarily need to, but we have plenty of God Spirits. Let's go ahead and God Spirit then. We might as well be safe. Might as well be safe, yeah. Yeah, we probably could have got away with not doing it, but let's just be safe. Okay. And I'm going to be safe as well. So because we decided to play it a little bit riskier, we had to use a couple of God's Beards. That's why I didn't like doing this fight, because I sure. don't like using God's Beards in the old world. That's, yeah. <laughs> I still thought I could have gotten away without any God's Beard at all, but... We probably could have, but... It's all right. <laughs> Not a huge deal. Show people a little bit more riskier side to playing. But we have so many... Sheldon always ends up winning his games with like that should not be guy. that should not be an excuse to the, do risky plays because we have a lot of shit sure. I mean, that should be a thought process in my opinion but that's okay well you would have <laughs> ended up fighting it with chaos active so that just would have made it that much no more. I already told you why it was better to have a chaos active compared with half half I already told you my reasoning for that <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna rest up here yep is there anything on the market other than God's Beards? I have not looked. Man, we need like, ugh. We can probably, is that a Pipesmith next to us? No, mm, that's a trainer. Trainer, it's a trainer. You want to meditate, Mike? No. No, okay. I don't think I need to. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and meditate in. in yeah, I'm, then we can go get I'm the Mind Lord. Right. Yeah. Okay, Hold so we're gonna get ready to attack the Mind Lord next. Yeah, you're gonna want your Confuse immunity. Yeah, I wasn't too. It wasn't too bad physics. It was just the fact that it was a risky play. Of some degree, that was the only reason I. I am a little bit more of a riskier. Uh, I'm not. I'm really safe. Not like any risky play, I don't even like doing. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> All right, just end your turn there, and we'll just come join you. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, that'd be some free money later on. Yeah. <laughs> what was it that uh, po that popped up? I didn't see what you guys were talking about. Oh, uh, we were talking about the scam camp that. Ah. Okay. 
basically a big money farm. Come on, fight. So again, the big thing is what you guys said here, try to get confused immunities for mine lords. Yeah, this is what we, we save them for last so that we have enough yeah. time to accumulate it. Although we happen to get our confusing mini really, really quickly. Yeah. We've had it for a long time. I believe one miss kills. Yeah, with not Free. Loud, no, not, not, yeah, with sure. Freeze. Yeah. That's why I chose freeze. to freeze him so you could finish yeah. him off easier. Yeah. Or at least hope to freeze it was him. A good, it, was a good, it was a good decision. Yeah. Probably do the same thing, hopefully. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot of. Yeah, do the same thing. <laughs> Say goodbye to your focus. Oh, there we go. Got another freeze on him. As far as I'm aware, I think camps disappear when the day changes or if the weather changes. We yeah, just when, had a we just weather... had a we just had a rainstorm. Oh, actually, the rainstorm was scourge based, so I can't really say that. Yeah, but... it, weather changes yeah. definitely cause things to disappear. <gasps> oh, come on! I had a good intelligence. Oh, okay, well, there fine. we go. Splash him to death, Mike. I need 21. Yes, that should be enough. He's gonna confuse. He should confuse here. Yep. Ain't gonna do nothing. Do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> okay. And that leaves us relatively healthy enough to go into the glittering mines. Glittering. We're going to the. We're gonna going go to backwards. The, Sorry, the king's he, maze. The king's maze. He, he oh. always gets those mixed up. Yeah. He always gets those mixed up. Yeah. Ooh, a broadsword. Not as good as an iron anchor. I would hate to go into the maze with pipe one. Everybody, that would suck. That's true. We should pipe up before we go in there. The interesting thing is, is as, our... as well as purchase any additional god spirits that we haven't already picked up. I don't think we can pick up all the Godspears we haven't picked up and still get pipe level. Well, we still have Godspears and Parade we get for 22 each. That's pretty cheap. Uh, our boat's still by the learning pool. You know what? We need money. Let's go kill that scamp camp. Yeah, let's go get that there. scamp camp. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be a good chunk of money. So pretty I think we're in range. Pretty much what we're going to do here. Are you going to get the Sanctum before we head into the King's um, Maze or no? He should. I should. I probably will. Oh, yeah. It's, I could get that thing easy. Okay, so we're going to attack the scam camp. Yes. Yeah. Free money. Free monies. <laughs> oh, we just go to the alluring pole physics because our boat's right by the alluring pole. I believe Mike's Splash will kill that. And that. Yep. Oof. Nice. <laughs> and he's wet too, so now they can't dodge anymore. So this is just... They can. They can. They, they just, just they, they just don't have to have perfect hits. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow, there we go. Whew. Good buddies. That's some good money. Your favorite necklace, right? It's better than scared immunity necklace, at least. Mm, I don't think I need two more awareness. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna put these on over the swamp boots. Does anyone want swamp boots or no? No, I have boots of might. I have mage. That's right. That's shoes are. Right. Yeah, I have mage shoes. Now I'm getting weapons. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go down to. Where do you guys want to go to now? Um. Well, we have a lot of money. Let's see. So, Daddy, why don't you switch your? Uh, armor sets into your regeneration, including the amber heart, and walk yourself up to the 
can start work, walking yourself up to the King's Maze while Sheldon goes and gets that Sanctum of Blood. Where are we going to pipe up at, Mike? Um, you can pipe up at Fire Elm. I could pipe up at Parid. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, how much movement do you have left? One? Yeah. Go ahead and just uh, end your turn right there. No. Actually, right next to us. Right next to us is great. He can trade, he can trade the gold turret. Yeah, now. so I need... 88. 80. I, I need 88. Yep. So give me 88 bucks. I need 80. Well, we'll plus in, so... 120? Oh, you need a you need, Sheldon needs 120. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> okay. Why is, is the end really 10 gold? Hold on. Uh, Mike, I think the end prices are. Well, that glitch. we know that sometimes the end prices can glitch when you're in multi. Yeah, games. it's happening right now. That's kind so, of. So I'm <laughs> seeing. I'm seeing the in prices as 10 gold at Fire Emblem myself. Same here. That's that's not correct. It's not supposed to be 10. Oh, well. And the, the in prices at Parid are actually 11. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Maru. That's really low. Welcome to the stream. It's really low, I know. It, which is a shame because it's, a, it's an advantage that we don't need. Yeah. That's what's a shame. Oh, well. Actually, I don't have enough to even in for that. <laughs> um okay that's okay i can sell some garbage here uh let me sell the ebony loot there we go yeah perfect now make my way armor to the sanctum so am i going to the boat now um no Hit the luring pool or no? Actually, he needs to pipe up too. He does need to pipe up too. Why don't you come into parade and pipe up? Okay. He both need to pipe up. Yay! New follower. Yes. Do you want me to purchase the God's Beards in here too or no? Yes. Yeah, go ahead and do that. That's fine. Okay. And then in. Yeah, just for a little bit of focus and health. So pretty much what we're doing is we're just getting ready to go into the King's Maze here, right? Pretty much. Yep. Yeah. We're, getting, we're starting to set up for that. Okay. Um, so now do you think that there's anything else that we need to talk about before we um, get into the King's Maze? Because we're going to probably have to leave the King's Maze for next episode and go into yeah, the game. Yeah. Most likely. So as you can tell, this is like when we talked about getting ready for getting outside of the, guard the Guardian Forest and into this area. This is the biggest, most difficult pathing, largest like part of the game that this really does set you up for um, the King's Maze is that pivotal point in the game. Like, did you prepare yourself well enough and not get chaos on top of you to where you can get to the end of the game? So, do you think there's anything else that we need to talk about before we get into this kind of last clutch area before we get into uh, the end? Well, so, you de yeah, you definitely want to prepare yourself as much as you feel like you need to. Now, we could technically still prepare more if we wanted to by uh, doing more sea caves and trying to get a pipe level 3 on a party healer if we wanted to be extra safe. Although, we're, very, we're probably not going to do that. We're probably we probably okay with what we have um we have improved weapons on everybody we're level seven slash six so that's pretty good we have a plenty of herbs yeah we're definitely ready for sure okay um yeah, i also want to just say too that we never used uh the cult device from the golden plains the rogue isles or the burning forest if we had used those no, to remove to remove chaos, then we would actually have no chaos on our timeline at all at this point. Um, we know that when we do the King's Maze, the King's Maze removes two focus. So 
uh, a lot of times the reason why we will save those cult devices is we actually want a little bit of chaos on our timeline so that we can get the full effect of the King's Maze removing two, focus, uh, two chaos for us. And it just helps us to have options for removing scourges that appear in bad places or to give us an extra life if we needed it. It pulled me out of here. Yep. Which is kind of nice. I say we sell up to the King's Maze and call it. So, uh, the other thing is, too, what people are wondering about, if they haven't been able to make it this far in the game, um, little bit of a spoiler, so if you want to shut it off here, but there's a way that you can actually hit some of these chaos, um, generators at the end of the game if you absolutely have to remove chaos. Oh, I was just, I, I was just gonna sell to the maze and we'll just call it once we get there. It's like, like one more minute. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, at, toward the end of the game, when you get the air balloon, you can easily just fly to any of these cult devices and use them if needed. No, so, when you're removing chaos physics, it gets rid of the chaos that's shown, and it also gets rid of the next chaos that would activate that you don't see. But the, but the chaos after the one you don't see, that's the one that you can't remove. Right. It only removes yeah. one that you don't see. Oh. And no more, and no more than that. No oh. more than that, yeah. I did not know that. I kept just removing chaos thinking, boom, 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 boom. It's going to be gone. Yeah, you're wasting it then. The game hasn't loaded the the, the chaos you, has, you don't see yet. Yeah, by that point. It's, it's, uh, so yeah, definitely when you're playing, like, on Apprentice and Journeysman, very likely that when you're getting the King's Maze, that one of the two chaoses you're removing is actually doesn't register. So it now, do you want to call... Yo, go ahead. So it's one of the chaoses outside of the timeline right now. That's it. That's as far as it goes. Yeah, so there's one chaos we don't see, pretty much. It, it, it's basically where the day four is, although we can't see it. And then there's another chaos that that would spawn after that that hasn't loaded in yet. That one would not register. Okay. Yeah. Do you think I should actually spend a focus to go in here? Or no. You can if you want. It's fine. And then we can. Then we. Can, you want to call it after you enter? Yep. Okay. Okay. And we wanted to sail our boat up there because we're gonna want to have that boat available to us right when we All come right, out. So we'll, we'll just sit here. Yes. Okay. All right, so thank you guys so much. I know that this is going to be a long YouTube video, but thank you guys so much for joining uh, both Sheldon's stream and watching this video. Um, we're going to pick this back up next week, and we will make sure to upload that as well too, so you guys can watch King's Maze, and then we can talk about what the next 15 ROMs are past King's Maze and what we want to do to get ready for the end game. So appreciate you guys joining us today.